Why, hello there, everybody. Ah! <laughs> I'm a little bit excited to play Etrian Odyssey. I've been wanting to play ever since we finished playing Persona Q and experienced those games, because people were like, oh, if you enjoyed Persona Q, you're going to love the Etrian Odyssey series. And I was like, well, can I become a map god? And y'all were like, yeah, you can become the map god. And so I'm here and now I'm really excited. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to today's stream. Hi, I'm here and I'm excited. So there are three Etrian Odyssey games in this collection to get through. That's a lot of game, man. That's a lot of Thanks game. Thanks for the amazing content. Can't wait to watch your playthrough of this game. Thank you so much, Sublime. That's so sweet of you to say. Thank you. Welcome, everybody. Hi. Okay, raise your hands if you have ever played Etrian Odyssey. If this is your first time seeing the game. I'm curious, because I'm wondering if, like, the viewers are mostly people that have played the original and they want to see the the new port or if it's like a new people to the franchise i'm really curious raise his hand yeah let me know your experience of this game where are we all at right now okay that's a lot of raised hands i am a fellow map god <laughs> Okay, I'm glad I'm not the only map god in the room. That's good. We need more map gods around. Okay, okay. Never heard about Etrian Odyssey. I'm interested about it. First time, unfamiliar as fuck. Well, my job is to make you familiar as fuck. That sounds weird. <laughs> okay, so a lot of you have played the original. And now you're experiencing it again, like kind of in an HD version with this port. That's interesting. Okay. Well, I'm excited to play it. I'm really happy that Atlas announced this because it gives me an excuse to play it. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have, if I'm being completely honest. So with them doing this port, it's pushing me to actually do it. <clears throat> you love the Etrian Odyssey games? Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. What the hell? I'm excited. Like, I don't know what to expect out of this series. I, I, honestly, I don't know if I'm expecting even like a decent story. I, I'm... <laughs> I, I I have zero expectations going into this other than the fact that I know I can make maps and I know I can become a map god. That's it. That's all I really know. <laughs> but like story and gameplay wise, I have no idea what I'm getting into. I, I I'm unfamiliar with this almost entirely. You're curious how will this will translate to the switch? Oh, I did request a copy on the Switch, um, but they only were giving out Steam codes, so I am playing it on Steam. I wish I was playing it on my Switch, but this is all they had available. But I'm sure it'll be the same. Like, uh, cause this was a DS game, right? So instead of having like your lower screen where it's a map, I'm sure it's... I don't know, they have to figure out how to translate that. So we're gonna see how that works. I have no idea how that's gonna work. Yeah, how will the map work if it's not on the second screen? Cause I remember playing Persona Q and you had the map on the lower screen and that's how you navigated. So I wonder if it's gonna be like in the corner, the map in the corner kind of thing. I don't know, we'll see how that translates to Steam Switch integration. Yeah, this is like one of my favorite dresses that I have. I wear it so much in the summer. <laughs> I love it. It's just, it flows the nice and it feels very light and flattering. I don't know, I really like it. But thank you, I appreciate it. You grew up with PC dungeon crawlers, so discovering the series later in life was just amazing. Oh, that's so precious. I love that feeling whenever you grow up with something and then you end up revisiting something similar as an adult and it just brings back a wave of nostalgia. I feel like I've been feeling that recently with Tears of the Kingdom. It's been just really pleasant to relive those old crystal moments. <clears throat> uh, you always wanted to play it but never had the money back then, so excited to play it now. Oh, yay! I'm glad to hear that! Um, will you stream the Summer Game Fest or will it be with Chen? I will be streaming the Summer Game Fest. Um, I've been really enjoying, like, doing it with my community. Like, I wasn't doing that before because I was feeling shy. 
<laughs> I'll be honest, like, I didn't feel like I was big enough as of a creator to, like, watch my own Nintendo Directs and State of Plays and stuff on my own. Um, but I, like, I genuinely have been enjoying playing the State of Plays uh, with you guys and watching them in the, in the PlayStation uh, showcases, Nintendo Directs, like, all of that. It's been fun, so I'll keep I'll keep doing the streams with you guys. So the Summer Games Fest will be here on the channel if you want to hang out together as a group. Happy Friday! Happy Friday, Cloud! Welcome! Uh, the untold versions of the game have actually written story. Don't know about the other version. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> I am <laughs> blind as a bat right now. <clears throat> Maybe uses the touch screen for mapping. I have no idea how this is going to work. All I know is that I'm going to make a map and I'm going to become a map god and that's that's it. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> you super excited for the port since physical copies are pretty pricey these days? They are. Actually, come to think of it, were they selling physical copies of this game? Of Etrian Odyssey? I can't remember if they actually said that they were doing physical copies or not. <laughs> you get to see me be a map god again. I'll just try not to bring back the infamous, like, Adora the Explorer segment, um, uh, where I did that for quite a bit in Persona Q. Uh, we won't, we won't do that again. <laughs> I'm avoiding Dora the Explorer. <laughs> oh, where's the couch? I keep forgetting that it's Friday and that it's supposed to be a couch stream day. It's going to be a chair stream day today. I'm too lazy now. I've been doing training exercises every morning, so I've been getting more tired before I start my stream. And now I'm at the point where I'm too lazy. Uh, I worked out hard this morning. I'm so tired. Uh, you're excited to play these games after you beat Tears of the Kingdom. I was thinking about starting with the third one. I wonder if that's a good idea. I have no idea. I figured, you know, I'm new to the series. I'm going to play them in order. One, two, three. Bing, bang, boom. That's what I'm going to do. I I don't know how else to play the series because I don't really know their relation to each other or what they are, but I kind of just want to experience that for myself. Um, yeah, it just... That's how I'm going to approach it. I have no idea, though. Untold Games are the remakes. Atlas released the original. A bit odd, but not bad. Oh, okay. That seems... That seems like such a weird Atlas thing to do. They, they do stuff like that, and then I don't understand... But that seems, okay, interesting. The Xbox Showcase. I'm not much of an Xbox gamer. I never have been in my life, nor much of a PC gamer, but I'm still gonna watch it. But I don't expect to like to like anything that I see. But I do expect some stuff from, the, um, from Xbox in terms of like what's gonna be on their Game Pass. Because if I have any predictions, I do think that SMT5 will show up on Nintendo, on uh, Nintendo, on uh, Xbox Game Pass. I feel like we'll see some titles that we're familiar with on the Game Pass, if anything. Which I'm excited to see what's on there. So Japan only for physical copies of this game. Ooh, that's a shame. I wonder if they just think they wouldn't sell the physical copies of this game. Oh, that's such a shame. I feel like they're missing out on that. Uh... The Untold games had, like, characters in other games had kind of D&D write your own characters kind of thing. Oh, that's very interesting. Okay. You broke your headphones today. Oh no. I'm so sorry to hear that. That's such like a travesty, especially with something that you use every day. Oh. Did the codes include the pre-order stuff? That's a good question. I don't think I know the answer to that until like I play the game and then you guys can let me know because I, I don't know if I get pre-order stuff. I'm going to guess no, because usually codes don't come with that stuff. We'll see. <laughs> usually we get the short end of the stick on that side of things. Um, it's, I don't expect that. I'd be very surprised if we did. Dude, I am so hyped for the RGG Summit. That's the thing I'm looking forward to the most in the next, like, two weeks. That's on June 15th. <laughs> oh, oh, you know what I thought of uh, yesterday? I was, like, thinking, oh, the RGG Summit will definitely cover uh, Yakuza Gaiden. 
They're gonna cover Gaiden. I am not sure if we're getting Yakuza 8 news. I think it's still too early for Yakuza 8. But I was thinking, what if they do announce, like, Judgment coming back? Because, uh, I would like that a lot. I think that Judgment as a series has really flown off. I think that people love Judgment, especially after the last one. Like, it was genuinely so well written. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really hoping that they announce, like, a Judgment 3 title. I'm praying to every pussy lord out there <laughs> that there is another Judgment game. I think they got the previous controversies, like, sorted out, from my understanding. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I am... I just really hope that they continue Judgment, because it's so good. So I'm hoping for, obviously, Yakuza Gaiden we're gonna get. I want a judgment announcement, and I think we'll be lucky if we get Yakuza 8 news, but we'll see. They might have other stuff in store for us. <clears throat> Hi, Tion! <clears throat> Every time I get into a series like soon after you stream it as well, and each time I'm rushing to finish the game before you, I'm so sorry. If it helps, I'm going back to my old format of streaming multiple games at once. So, at Tree and Odyssey, I'll be playing every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And Tears of the Kingdom, I'll be playing every Tuesday and Thursday until I finish both games. Um, don't ask me how Final Fantasy 16 is going to happen, because I highly doubt I'm going to finish both of these games before Final Fantasy 16 comes out. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm, I'm literally just sitting here crying in the club, okay? Like, I can't handle the amount of games that are happening in this month. <laughs> I'm gonna play Final Fantasy 16, but there are so many games to cover right now. It's such a first world problem, man. Uh... Damn. Oh, the Etrian Odyssey devs uh, mentioned that they're currently working on a new entry, but they're not ready to tease anything for at least a whole year. Wait, they're actually continuing? Okay. This is like a loaded question, but I know nothing about Etrian Odyssey, so I need some education here. So like, how many Etrian Odyssey titles are there? From my understanding, there's like six, like one, two, three, four, five, six. And then when's the last time a game was released? Like, I'm, I'm just like confused about this. Cause that's a, if they're continuing to make them, that's pretty impressive. <clears throat> Good day, Kurai, by the way. Thank you so much for the 18 month resub. I really appreciate that. Uh, man. I think that Atlas will be at the Xbox showcase only in the form of Game Pass. I think that SMT5 will be announced on Game Pass or some other Atlas titles, but I think that's it. We're not gonna get any new Atlas announcements. They would not show up at an Xbox showcase because they are PlayStation slash Nintendo. They are not Xbox exclusive. Yeah, Final Fantasy 16 is coming out on the 16th. Ha ha ha. June 16th. Ha <laughs> Final Fantasy 16. Actually, I just realized, did they plan that? Final Fantasy 16, June 16th. I think they planned that. That just clicked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm amused by the stupidest shit, I swear. Uh, Ghost Trick is happening June 30th. Raincoat is happening June 30th. I'm going to play both games. I'm hoping I can finish Etrian Odyssey and Final Fantasy 16 and Tears of the Kingdom before June 30th so that we can play Phantom... Oh, so oh my god, Ghost Trick and rain code on june 30 there's just too many games right now there's way too many games okay so nexus in 2018 was the last title so 2018 so five years ago this is amazing to me that i've never heard about this franchise ever before And now it just like seemingly comes out of the blue. Well, for me, comes out of the blue and there's more games coming out. Like, oh geez, <laughs> there's so much to cover.
Uh, yeah, raincoat too. Uh, there's so much. You haven't touched your Switch in so long? Whoa, you are the rare person that's actually not playing Tears of the Kingdom right now, because I swear everybody is, like, obsessed with Tears of the Kingdom. Which, I am definitely in that boat. I am obsessed. It is so hard for me to not play off-stream. I've been managing to edit videos, but at the same time, I keep staring at my Switch while I edit, like... I, I want to play. <laughs> I want to play so bad. It's very niche, even for JRPGs. Aww. Well, hopefully we can give Etrian Odyssey some love and some visibility. Introduce more people to it. Uh, and now super hard to get a hold of. Well, hey, now you have Etrian Odyssey 1, 2, and 3 in this collection. You get three games ported on the Steam and Switch. So the DS games are making their way to ports, but it'll it'll take some time. It's definitely happening. Like, if I had to guess, even Persona Q and Persona Q2 are probably in the works of being ported. I would not be surprised if that was already happening in the background. Because I feel like it is. If they're doing Etrian Odyssey, I feel like that's the next step, is doing Persona Q and Q2. It's the same format. <clears throat> You found EO by accident as well when I was looking up RPG with a make your own MC. Oh, that's so cool. It's really cool to see like how people hear about games growing up. For me, it was just like my mom bought me Nintendo consoles and that's how I knew Nintendo. She just like gave me Game Boy for Christmas and Nintendo 64 for Christmas. Like she would just give me all the Nintendo games and I only knew about it because that's what my mom bought me. <laughs> NAS Labyrinth series games are a lot like Etrian Odyssey and are pretty good. Wow, that's surprising to hear. Uh, Nintendo Direct boosts attention a lot. That's why I would love a Trails Switch port. Oh, so many people bugging me about the Trails series. Mm. <laughs> One day, maybe I'll get there, man. One day. Ugh. They said it relies on how well the collection sells. We'll see. That does make sense, because that's what gaming companies do. If something doesn't sell, they're not going to bother with the other stuff. So, hey, I'm here to stream Etrian Odyssey. Uh, give it visibility, because if, if, if this is successful, then we get Persona Q and Persona Q2. Although, I don't think this is going to fully dictate whether we get Persona, because, like, Persona Q and Q2 are vastly more popular than, Etri than Etrian Odyssey. I would be surprised if it wasn't. So, because they're Persona titles, uh, I think, I think that'll... I don't know. It's, it's not fully going to dictate whether they do it or not. Hmm. <clears throat> Your mom started this domino effect of falling madly in love with Akechi. <laughs> it wasn't even my mom, it was my brother. My brother is the one that got me into Persona 5. He told me to play it. He... Like, my story there is that my brother tried to get me to play Persona 5 vanilla when it had come out. And I was like, okay, I'll play Persona 5 eventually because I always play games that my brother suggests to me because my brother has never let me down in my entire life. Any game that he recommends, I have always loved. So I trust my brother with my entire life. I was like, okay, I'll play Persona 5 eventually. And then, unfortunate series of events turned out that Nier Automata came out the same day as Persona 5 Vanilla. Like these two massive titles came out, I think it was either like the exact same day or the same week. So I chose to play Nier Automata. And I never got around to Persona 5 after that. <laughs> Oops. Uh, yeah, I never got around to Persona 5. Uh, and then whenever I heard that Royal was coming out, I switched gears and I was like, oh, Persona 5 Royal's coming out. Now I can play the game. And I'm so glad that that turned out in such a beautiful turn of events because 
I don't think I would have had as good of an experience playing vanilla first and then again playing it as a royal version. Whereas Royal was my first introduction to the Persona franchise, and I feel like that was a great entry point to start with rather than vanilla. So it was happy, happy accident. And I'm happy that it worked out like that. Uh, you saw a game with a CD included, so that's how I bought EO Untold 1. Oh, wow. Just because it had a CD? What the hell? Dang. Oh, Luigi's Mansion 1 and 2 to the Switch. Give it time. It'll happen, I think. Actually, not I think. It'll happen eventually, like, for sure. <clears throat> I got your first Etrian Odyssey game from a friend after they decided that it wasn't for them, and I fell in love with it. Oh, you got a free game from a friend, and then you loved it. That's so cute. Uh... <laughs> Nine games and the 10th coming to the West in July, so it's not a lot to get into trails. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, hmm. A lot of really, really long games. Uh, yes. <laughs> Jesus. Common near W. Get out of here. Uh, no, I didn't choose near Automata for 2B. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, you should get near Automata. It's a fantastic game. God. That was my introduction to the near franchise and my introduction to Yoko Taro. I didn't expect anything that happened in that game. Nothing. Like, I was just so confused. Oh my god. Like, <laughs> when you don't know Yokotari's storytelling, it just kind of fucks you up. <laughs> like, it really fucks you up. I, I, I didn't know what to expect when I played it, but I had zero expectations. I was like, wait, you can make video games like this? I was so confused. Oh. Uh... She doesn't like games. Oh, I am the same with my sister. I have another sister as well. I have a brother and a sister, and my sister is not a gamer. She she doesn't. Me and my brother were the gamers of the family, and my sister is uh, almost like your typical normie, honestly. Um, <laughs> she's so normie. She used to play Pokemon with us, but then she fell off of Pokemon pretty fast, and then she decided she didn't like gaming. So I could still relate to that. <clears throat> It's only a decology could finish it in an afternoon. Could you imagine? Like, if, what if I did something like a trails marathon where I legitimately just never stop my stream until I finish the entire series? I just marathon it. Just. Oh, my God. Actually, that sounds terrifying. <clears throat> Even knowing Yoko Taro will fuck you up, that's so true! I remember watching my first Yoko Taro interview and I was, again, just very confused. Because I didn't understand... why. <laughs> For so long. <laughs> like, this man is just an anomaly. Ugh. Sounds overwhelming. Oh, a little bit, a little bit. Uh, I still love my sister, even though my sister is a big normie. I, I still love her dearly. <laughs> but that being said, uh, you guys ready for some Metrian Odyssey? It's time, gamers. It's time. I've been staring at a spinning tree for 30 minutes now. I am dizzy. And I think that's appropriate to start playing the game. I've been staring at this for 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, I was kidding. I wouldn't do a trails marathon. Don't worry, don't worry. Oh. As punishment, you should make us stare at the spinning tree for 30 minutes. 
you guys want to stare at a spinning tree for 30 minutes? Now I'm going to think that the main villain of this game is the tree god. Like, that's what... <laughs> <laughs> the tree god. Wait, trees are supposed to represent life. So, is there a god that represents just life? Maybe nature? A nature god? <laughs> Spinning tree. <laughs> this is peak content, man. Is that Demeter? I don't know my gods that well, even after playing a lot of SMT and I'm supposed to know where demons come from, but I still don't know. I'm saying that the tree god is the main villain of the game. Uh, and that's how I'm going to go into this game. Uh, I'm just... It's hard not to think like this when you're staring at a spinning tree for 30 minutes, okay? Picnic. For those who like a walk in the park, basic. For those enjoying overcoming trials. Okay, I'm a basic bitch. Yes. Alright, I love being basic. One day in the small, isolated town of Etria, an underground forest was discovered. The Radha, governors of Etria, issued a proclamation throughout the continent. Any able-bodied adventurer was invited to investigate the forest and explore its depths. But no matter how many came to investigate the dungeon, none gained the renown that they sought. As many adventurers tried and failed to conquer it, it came to be known by a new name. The Yggdrasil Labyrinth. You are the latest adventurer to journey to Etria in response to the Radha's proclamation. You have but one goal. Explore the forest to win fame and fortune. Etria is at hand. Okay, it's 10 a.m. and I'm introduced with a cat. This game is the best. I can, I, wait, Explorer's Guild is represented by a cat. Oh, jeez, this guy. I haven't seen you before. Take it you came to check out the Agrasa Labyrinth. Then welcome, friend. Not many guilds lately are admitting new adventurers. <laughs> Those difficulty settings sound insulting. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll change it if I feel like it's too easy. That's what I do. Don't worry about it. Those short-sighted losers care too much about trifles to do any real investigation. If you've got the guts, you should make a guild entirely for newcomers. There are loads of guys just sitting on their thumbs who'd join any guild that they take... The, okay. Um, I, I don't think there's a no option. Your mouth says no, but your eyes, they say yes. Ah, uh, yes! The illusion of choice. Great, then let's get started. Write what, uh, write what you want, want to call your guild. Someday the world will know this name, so think carefully before cho I have to choose a guild name? The bitches. <laughs> now that you've got a guild, you'll need adventures to fill it. Of course, you can go into the labyrinth yourself. If you got the stones, then register your own name as a member. More adventures means more options open to you and less of a chance of dying down there. Think about it for a while and make sure you register a variety of classes into your guild. Okay. I have 1,000 N. Uh, let's talk. Oh, okay. Good talk. Register. <laughs> Not a bad name. He is entirely too nice. Okay. 
How do I even say this word? Is this German? Lenschknecht. I butchered that. I am so sorry. Um. E. Survivalist, protector, dark hunter, medic, alchemist, and troubadour. Okay, balanced warriors for the front line. Fast acting fighters, useful in either line. Best used as frontline warriors. Their skills are best used in the front. Use their healing gifts from the back. Elemental super for the back. Supporters able to work on either line. Okay, well, I feel like you gotta start with like a tank and a healer, right? That's like, is, sounds typical. Uh, best used as frontline warriors. Protector. Or Lange Connect. Three medics. I'm just gonna have an entire team of medics. As a German, that's not the worst I've heard. I am so sorry. <laughs> this stream has one joke? Oh my god. It's just a staple, okay? Of course my guild name has to be bitchin'. You're judging? Anyway, we're gonna go with a land sh Oh, I get to choose the portrait. Land sh Um, I want... I want this guy because he's winking at me. Oh, I get to choose his name? You said before that this stream has one joke. Oh no, it has two. Boom. Ooh, okay. If you pre-ordered, you have extra DLC character portraits. Man, the codes are so limiting. <laughs> this is just the code that Atlas gave me, so I don't get to get the extra stuff. Um, this person seems edgy, and I like that. Oh, God. All right, this is now a uh, Twitch chat plays. Chat, you choose a name. All right, like I said, this stream only has two jokes. So, and now, now it's your turn. <laughs> this is S! Wait, that's my third joke. Wait, that's, that is my thing. Oh, yuck! Yuck is a great, great one. Oh, wait, you guys, wow, you guys are kings and queens out there. Okay, yuck. Yuck. All right, I like it. Poopy? Oh, jeez, I accidentally clicked off. Poopy. <laughs> Pee-pee poo-poo. Troubadour. Whoa, look at these designs. Look at that underboob. Dang, girl. Does this guy have one leg? Chat, I'm only seeing one leg. It's in the back. Pick the one leg. Oh, I see now. It's the dark shadow in the back. Okay, okay. He doesn't just have one leg. It's a dark shadow. Okay. Um, anyway, so they're playing like a cello or something and then you got like these dancers in the back. You know what? I like the underboob goddess. And I really enjoy the, um, this... Uh, this is ass. Oh, it perfectly fits. This is ass. Great. I guess I should get one of each to start? This is interesting. I didn't think that this was going to be going like this. Uh, survivalist! Uh, I get an archer. What does square do? Gives you more. Just kidding. No, it just shows all of the art for all of them. <clears throat> Name one after yourself. Okay, like if I had to insert myself into this game, I would be... 
I am... I protect. Okay? I protect. I would be a protector. So this is me. And you know what? This girl is attractive looking, so this, this is me. <laughs> this is my self-insert. Boom. All right, survivalist now. I protect. I'm here to protect. That's my job. Okay. Another character. Hmm. They're all good. This one is speaking to me. You want to know what it is? Well, I like her eyes. It's the mouth. The kitty mouth. All right. What's her name? Her name is- Oh, yes! Oh, wait, 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 yeah. There's an option for that. Yes! Thank you. You guys are geniuses. Amazing. Uh, I don't think we have a Dark Hunter. No, we don't. Okay. Oh, dang! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, his feet have- What? What? Why is that on your feet? Oh, damn, these are so edgy. A booba! Yeah, you got spiked boots. Dang, okay. Um, these are. They both got spiked boots. Alright, we're gonna go for. I like this chick. She can step on me. All right. Her name, chat. All the dark haunters are, so, are yeah, step on me. I could just make it as simple as like step on me. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, she does give Catherine vibes. That's so true. Just step on me. Okay. I would like it to be known that these names that we're picking is the reason why we don't get sponsored. <laughs> I don't even know shit about every in series the Persona Q brought to all people though. Say, you should check out We Love Katamari Reroll Crystal. We Love Katamari Reroll? What? Thank you so much for the 15 months. I appreciate it. All right, do I have an alchemist? I don't have an alchemist. Oh, this is my kind of character. Hmm. Dang, those thighs and hip. What the hell? Also, what are on your arm? Jesus. Oh, they all have like this gauntlet. I like this guy. Um, This guy is named Nurge. He is your resident Nurge. Hips don't lie, her hips damn devil don't lie, man. Yes, yeah, see, Nurge, he just like screams this energy. So, that's our, uh, this is our guy. The yeah, Nurge, yes. All right, and I think we have an alchemist, and did I get a troubadour? Yes. So I have one of each character now. Oh, hey, I can look at skills. Don't need them. Organize. <laughs> Wait, I'm missing one. That's six. Wait, I am missing a couple. Wait, so I have six characters. Status. Troubadour. Okay, so we have a lynch. We have a medic. We have a troubadour. We have a protect. We have a survivalist. We have a dark hunter. We have an alchemist. Wait, that's seven? I'm counting seven. And there are seven. Oh, never mind. I'm... <clears throat> Pancake, yuck. This is ass. Me. Uh... <laughs> what do I even say? Colon three. Step on me and Nurge. We have a great team. One of each. That's all we need, honestly. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. -woo. 
so I have to understand this game. So Pancake, if I go and then reset skill points in exchange for losing five levels. Oh my God. So you can kind of like rewrite your characters a bit. This is interesting. This is like an interesting setup. So you can rename an adventure. We're never doing that. Change appearance. No. You can change equipment. Uh, I, I don't even know what Tweed is, but I think this is all we can do. So formation. Um, oh God, I don't remember what they said. I think that Pancake goes in the front. Yuck goes in the back. Troubadour, you're like a support, so you're in the back. I go on the front lines because I'm a protect. I protect. That's that's my job. Wait, we can't take it everybody though. Okay, we're taking the Nurge and wait, I can only take five. Oh no, I can only take five. I got to choose between. Oh no, I, I lied. Maybe we don't take Yuck. Pancake, you're getting benched. Survivalist, Dark Hunter, Alchemist. All right. Nurge. I need somebody in the front line. I, the Survivalist is not supposed to go in the front line, I thought. Wait, let me... Fast acting. Oh, they can go in either line. Perfect. Who needs a healer? We have a medic. Psh, we're fine. So, okay, what did... Fuck. Okay, this is ass. And then I'm the protect. Ooh, ooh. Wait, did I fuck up? Wait, does it not save? I have to reset every time. Oh, I didn't confirm. I see. I see, I see. So, yuck. This is ass. Ooh, ooh, you go in the front. Me in the front and Nurge in the back. Boom, this is it. Got it. <clears throat> I have, I have a medic. All right, if you didn't give it some thought, you'll regret it later. I gave it plenty of thought. I hope you can shake things up in this town and clear out some of the deadwood. I'm looking forward to the day that Bitches Guild becomes known the world over. So I did the Explorers Guild. So you rest and save. I want to save. Oh, look at this guy. Look at this dude. I just want to save my game. Thank you. I chose Nurge over Step on me. I'm so sorry. Welcome to Etria. You stand in the town's apothecary where we heal the wounded and fallen. We also offer medicines to take with you. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. If you're wounded in the forest, then come back here and we'll do everything we can for you. Cool, bye. Uh, buy and sell goods here, manage quests. Oh, there's quests. Wait, it's Golden Deer. The best house. Don't think I've seen your face here before. You new in town? If you're going to, if you're going down in the labyrinth, you should visit the Radha first. Every adventurer has got to go through Radha Hall before they're officially recognized. Sorry, hun, but my hands are tied. I can't give you any work until then. Once you're legit, come and see me again, all right? I am legit. I'm registered as the bitchin party. No soliciting. This is Radha Hall, home to Etria's governing body. Uh, I assume newcomers that are, that you are en route to investigate the forest. We don't recognize just anyone who manages to throw together a guild. If you wish to become licensed adventurers, first complete the mission that we give you. A new mission is available. Select accept missions from the menu. Okay. We have to map the first floor of the labyrinth. Meet the soldier in basement want first floor for the details easy easy video game your mission is to create a map of the first floor of the labyrinth as
guys an initiation. I'll just whip out my map god skills. Those who cannot accomplish this elementary task are better off staying out of the forest. Explore the first floor and map everything that you see there. This method will be useful later. Here's a small map to start you off. Fill in the rest of the details as best as you can. I got this. This game is indeed made for baby. <laughs> Bonus and get the details from the soldier. All right, sounds good. Report discoveries. Okay. It would be a great of great help, explorers of bitches, if you would. <laughs> All right, forest entrance. Let's go. Here be dragons. No one told me I was dealing with dragons. I already did that at the beginning. Oh my god! Wait, so this is my map. This is how they do it. This is how they do it. But, um, okay. It looks like my right analog stick. Oh, Jesus. L2. Okay. I'm trying to figure out the controls a little bit. Give me a sec. Uh, so my right stick can that's r2 and then i can switch oops stick to the right stick so it's like i have to split you have to split your brain in half like the right half of your controller is the map god and your left is your movement god oh those stairs are trippy okay the Adrasil Labyrinth. One task must be performed before challenging its depths. As you have some skills at adventuring, some three skill points should be available to you. To spend them on skills useful in the Labyrinth, open the main menu with square. Select custom to allocate skill points, but think carefully before doing so. You may already be aware of this, in which case this advice is happily unnecessary. If so, then hesitate no longer to begin your adventure in this lush green forest. So skills... Um, I want to become the most powerful bitch known to man. Holy shit! It's Friday! Body. Sophronia! What the hell? Thank you so much. Thank you for gifting 10 subs to the community. I really appreciate that. What the hell? That's so sweet. And Fabian! Fabian, thank you so much for the two-month resub as well. Oh. Ah. Thank you. That's very sweet of you. Ah. Happy Friday, everybody. Chop, mine, take. That's interesting. In this game, for each level you gain, you only you earn only one skill point. Use them wisely either to strengthen existing skills or to learn new ones. Level one. Okay. Got it. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. That's not an emblem thing. I'm just Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> Who's gifting a sub out to the map god? Get out of here! <laughs> Wait, Sophronia wasn't subbed! Wait a second! Thank you to whoever anonymously gifted a sub to the map god. And thank you, um, Julia for gifting a sub to Sophronia! <laughs> Look at the kindness in here, oh my god. Y'all are so sweet. Thank you. Uh, oh, wait. Okay, there we go. Undo, so this button is undo. This is full? Oh, you can, okay, so this is the full screen, and then this is 
Okay. Equip. Okay. Oh, the map god sends their blessing. Thank you so much, guys, for the subs. I really appreciate that. My goodness. Okay, I think I've gone through all the tabs. I just have to get used to this. Okay, so I go down with my right stick and... Oh God, that's so confusing. The, the controls a bit are, are a bit confusing. So that's what the sticks are for. Okay, okay, let's just go. This is a big open area. My God, the, it's so green and pretty. There's no need to explore virgin territory. I don't. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> That's where I live! <laughs> As you walk the narrow path greenery all around, you see a soldier standing guard. You must be the new guys. The Radha told me you'd be along. Welcome to the forest. A few questions for the soldiers spring to mind, but you wonder if you should let him be. Ask him what he's doing here. The soldier answers your question slowly. My orders are to make sure no one, you, for example, gets in the forest without permission. If you want in, start the way everyone does. Make a map of the floor we're on. As I'm sure that they've told you back at Radha, everyone goes through this initiation. With that, the soldier points to the map of the forest and you hold in your hands. Review the map drawing controls? Yes, please. Okay. So yeah, we figured out the full map, the portion outlined in green. Yeah, okay, zoom that. Drawing with a mouse. Use your mouse to draw. Maybe I can like, it might be, okay, so I'm playing with a PS5 controller, but it might be easier for me to draw the map with my mouse. I might duel this a bit. A controller and keyboard can also be used to draw maps. You can use your a combination of controller, keyboard, and mouse controls to draw maps. Yes, that's exactly what, what I'm gonna do. Cool. No, I wish I was playing this on the Switch, but they were only giving out Steam codes. There are various tools at your disposal to help you flesh out your map. Um, yeah, we can draw, erase, draw floors, erase floors. Got it. You can also draw maps using a controller or keyboard. I mean, I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory. Use I, G, K, L, okay. Use V or select to, okay. And then it'll uh, display on the zoomed map. Press R to go back. Okay. Oh, this is what I was getting confused with on the controller. So you hold the button. How does that work? Oh! So you hold the button and then you apply. Okay. <clears throat> Instantly, consistently pulling my stylus out. I wish I had like a touch screen monitor. <laughs> That'd be nice. Okay, opening and closing the icon menu. Left click the icons menu, open close, uh, repeat the close, repeat to close the icon menu. C, uh, C key on the keyboard. Okay, so C. Got it. Drag an icon from the map. Okay. Place a memo icon to leave yourself a message. There can be used, there can be used to mark points of interest. Use the green tool to move icons previously placed on zoomed map. Um, okay, this is starting to lose me a little bit. Mouse controls can also be used to left-click icons without need of a crane tool. Oh, okay, cool. 
Uh, press the zoom in and zoom out buttons to change the display size. We did that already. Open the main menu. Select option and navigate to field to adjust auto mapping, level tool, and icon display position, and other detailed settings related to map creation. Okay. No, I'm I'm gonna figure it out. Thank you. This area inside the red border shows where you've got to map. Finish that part and see me. Ask about the labyrinth. We call this Yggdrasil Labyrinth. It's a pretty strange place. The ecology here is completely different than the one in the world above where we live. It goes down so deep that no one has ever seen the lowest stratum. If you plan on exploring down there, then make sure your guard is up at all times. His speech delivered, the soldier loses interest in you and returns to his post. Okay, he lost interest in us. Okay. We'll just leave him alone. Okay, so let us go to the settings. So auto map. Only floors that you pass through will automatically be marked. Floors you pass through and surrounding walls. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. <gasps> oh! Oh, I'm fighting rats with pointy noses. Wait, rats have pointy noses already. I think I am now happy that I'm playing on Steam because I can do a combination of like my mouse and keyboard, which might be easier. I love rats. Oh, it actually was called a tree rat. Oh, I didn't see that. You've discovered a new monster, a tree rat. Nice. Oh, that's a dead end. Oh no. All right, now we go this way. Well, then we fight more tree rats. I love rat. I really have to get my steps in for this fight. Oh, butterfly! The tree rat escapes. The tree rat escapes. What? Both of them this time? I got, I killed the wood fly. I feel great about myself. A hostile wood fly now! Bro, I'm gonna die. I'm literally going to die to a bunch of butterflies. recently talked about how he makes battle music for the last floors. It was really insightful. Aw, that's really cool. I like whenever artists like talk about their work. Whoa, as you continue into the forest, you reach a clearing. Squarish boxes are lined up before you. It's possible that they were left by fellow explorers of the labyrinth. Then too, they may be part of the treasure rumored to litter the labyrinth. The boxes sit ready to be opened, offering no clues as to their nature. They're going to be full of mimics. <laughs> oh no! A hostile mole? I'm dead. Oh, shoutouts to Contra? Really? Okay, um, Uwu's dead. 
I kind of never figured out how to spend my skill points. I think I have to leave for that. I couldn't do that from the menu, at least. Oh, Nerge, no! in the custom tab menu. Hmm. Let me see. Okay, so... Oh, jeez. Wrong button. Okay, I have to get used to the controls. So they stay dead. Good to know. And a level up does not give you full HP. Also good to know. Oh, I have to select it from the tree. Jesus. Because I have cure here. Ah... Oh, there's Cure. Increase healing effectiveness needed to learn healing magic. So I've two. Slightly as a party after battle does not consume TP. Patch up. Yo, that's so good. So if I have two points, then I can do patch up. That's really good. Man, if only I had that before. Four. All right, so the Troubadour. I can learn um, Bravery, Shelter, and Mercury. Pulsing Beat that increases the party's strength. Okay. Ooh, woo. And I'm dead, too. Literally, I'm dead. Uh, increases the party's strength. Increases party's defense and party's speed. Who cares about speed in this house, honestly? All right, so Nurge has fire up, ice up, and volt up. Um, I'll make him an I. Oh wait, we're literally in a forest. So fire would be the most effective thing in a forest setting. Logic, I'm using it. Hey, look, I could have run... Uh, oh, a front guard? May take damage in the front line's place. Rear guard. Mm. Increases maximum TP, defense up, HP up. Wait, I can learn a cure? Mine for materials at mining points. Learn skill mine twice per day. Survivalist, so bows, agility, HP, TP, chop, mine, and take. Okay, interesting. So true shot, powerful, piercing, we'll just get the basic, like, that. Agility up, HP up. Quicken is motivate the entire party to sprint, increasing their speed. Uh, lower the enemy accuracy with evasive footwork. Easy enough cloak, though. I don't know what this does, so we're gonna do it. Alright, so, uh, <clears throat> uh, skills. I cured! I did it! I can't believe I just watched Crystal die live on stream. I can't believe <laughs> I don't think I can revi revive. I, I have no way of reviving. I I'm dead. I didn't get the skills early enough. Um, maybe I will miraculously I'll be alive. A scar a sc scram a sax? Excuse me. What the fuck is this? It's a weapon. It's a large knife. I have a feeling this is all a lot of equipment. A Medica? Two? Money? Oh no. Um, we should run? A 
claw bug. Oh, Jesus. Uh... Yeah, Persona Q was my first game in this style. Bro, I'm fucking dead. I just got a game over. The labyrinth swallowed all. Thank you, game. Thank you. Much appreciated. We're doing great. That's not an emblem thing. I'm just here. Yeah! <laughs> thank you for gifting a sub! Oh, thank you for gifting a sub to first try. I appreciate it. I did good, thank you very much. I think I have learned that we don't want to go too deep into the forest too early. I learned something today. Okay. All right, so this is where they give me the skill points in the custom tab. Okay, here we go. Boom, right off the bat. Let's go. Um, what did we do? Mine, HP up. Maybe I should do defense. I think I'm learning. Provoke is now available. Very cool, very cool. Uh, bows, bows. What did I do with you? I did uh, chop. Oh god, I put two points in chop. I fucked up. Um, healer. Now I have cure. Okay. Songs. TP. Take. Hi, Moogle! <clears throat> oh, I did venture out of the red line. I didn't even notice that. I ventured out of the red line! I can't believe I would do this. They specifically said, Crystal, don't venture outside the red line. Just explore this map. That's all you need to do. And I'm like, yeah, I know what to do. Cause I'm so smart. I'm disappointed in myself. Uh, yeah, I would. I don't know what roguelike actually means. I would call this a dungeon crawler, but I, I don't actually know. Uh, okay. So, he didn't give me my, my red box, though. Nope, I'm a pro map maker. Okay, finish the red border. Don't go outside the red border. Stay in the red border. I hope you guys are following. If the entire front line dies, it will be replaced by the back line. Yeah, that's typical. All right. I'm going off on an adventure to kill a bunch of rats.
This is ass deals two damage. Ooh, I do a lot of damage, man. I do a lot of damage. Amazing. Man, I am such a pro. Oh, that's a dead end. With a mole. Hey, Crystal, welcome! And it is a Friday. It's a good day. It's a great day to be alive, man. All right, I am the map god. Look at me go. I'm soaring through. Nobody can keep up with me. Oh, Jesus. Okay, the mole died. We gotta cure me, because I'm dying. Look at me actually using cure. You mean the server in 14? Oh my god. I still do want to do, uh, in 14, I want to do map nights with the community. So if you guys, if any of you are out there playing Final Fantasy 14, I want to start doing uh, map days with the community. Just run maps. Just have fun. Just chill. Wait. Back up. Oh my god! I should run from this fuck! Oh my god, he's so strong. Just just run, sweetie. Just run. I'm inside the red box. I'm quite literally inside the red box. You reach a clearing filled with blooming flowers. The nameless flowers sway in the wind and you catch the scent of their fragrance. You contemplate whether to rest and enjoy their sweet smell or leave immediately. Rest. You aren't the only creature in the forest lured by the sweet floral scent. Before you react, a pack of wood flies swarm you. Wood flies? Nay, these are the extremely poisonous breed known as venom flies. Knowing that escape is futile, you brandish your weapons and prepare. Oh my god. Oh my god. Poison is 20? Burn them alive! Oh my god, I'm dead. Oh my god, that wasn't enough. Chat, does... Does shelter stack if I do it again? I don't think it does because it... Uh, I don't think so, but... We're not dead. Don't give up. Don't give up. You're not sure? It refreshes the duration. Okay, thank you. I got one. Oh, I'm at a TP. I'm fine. I'm out of TP. I just started? Um... I... 
I, um... <clears throat> It's simple, just be a gamer. You think that the labyrinth cares that you just started? Clearly not. Clearly they don't give a shit. You can buy items, yeah. I think I got it now. I'll do that later. This soldier absolutely hates my guts. This soldier is just watching me die over and over again. He knows. He knows I've been a dumbass. All right, but I don't die a third time, okay? I've learned my lesson. All right, I have increased my physical defense. Amazing. I now know that I should... Okay, we want true shot. We're not messing around anymore, man. Medic, we definitely need the cure. Incremental progress. Yeah, I'm beginning to know that. I'm, uh, I'm figuring it out. We're getting there. Okay, one of each. Okay, fire. We definitely want fire. Two into fire. It seems very strong. Okay, there we go. We're ready to explore. Let's go. I'm going off on an adventure! I bet this game is so easy, man. All right, we got we defeated the rat, we defeated the the butterfly, easy. Oh. All right, that was our first battle. It's a little bit rough, but it's okay. All right, we hit the dead end. Good. Um Please don't die. I, I have a feeling that I have to go back right away. Ow. All right, we burned the butterfly alive. I like my Nurge a lot. Please don't kill him. Wait, I didn't get to cure. It's okay. I know I can use cure off, but that's okay. I think I should go back already. Rest up already. We're gonna take this in small increments, okay? Because I am learning the way. This is kind of like Metopia. Oh. Uh, investigation prompts. Okay. They did that as well in Persona Q2. Wait, I don't think I actually wanted to leave. Go back. I like. Wait, no. I have to go to the Rooster Inn to save. We're gonna save. Sleep until morning, it's five? You want me to spend five on your ass? All right, heal your wounds. Uh, the apothecary. All right, sell medicines. I probably should do that. 
Okay, bye. Restores 10 boost points, recovers 15 TP. Medica um, recovers 30 HP. I think we're gonna take about like 10 of those. Cool, we did it. I am not cheap. <laughs> Yeah. Take that. Okay. I'm going back in, baby. We're going back. We're going back. I am bigger, I am better, and I am stronger than ever before. I'll just do basic bitch hits. Five, 0.5%? I spent, I spent 20% of my money. They didn't teach you guys math in Twitch school? I can math. I can math too. All right, so let me see if I go all the way down here. Oh, I see an inspect. You hesitate, unsure of whether to slake your thirst or to pass by the water. Put your hand in the water. The icy water cools your heated skin. You wonder whether you should take a sip or leave without taking action. Take a sip. You decide to move on. I feel better after drinking the water. Okay. I feel like that was unsatisfying. All right, increase my... Actually, I should save. I want to go for the the big old meme butterflies that are the poisonous ones. I want to try to beat those up. More 14 talk, hello. <laughs> I heard you guys like Final Fantasy 14. Man, that's that's great. I too enjoy pain. I I love it. So I should probably use an item instead of my TP. Ooh, it's a gem! A mysterious crystal entwined with ivy blocks your path. It seems you cannot proceed. Wait, so me being the map god, I should mark it on my map, right? I don't know what this symbol is or this symbol. Hmm. Okay, also, side note, I think the better place for my camera might be the top left over the time. I don't know if the time of day matters for anybody, but I feel like I should move camera over there so you guys can see map. What do you think? Camera placement. <clears throat> oh, it's supposed to heal my TP. Oh, no. <laughs> the guard is forcing us to map stuff beyond. I know, it's so rude. So uh, I'm putting a dark circle here. <gasps> oh my god. I'm I'm the map god. Look at that! <gasps> I did map god things.
I am mapping. It's really satisfying. Okay, maybe I can't be mad at the Steam copy. I like that I can just drag and draw with my mouse because my mouse acts as like a stylus. Oh, the mist though. I'm so strong. Oh, wait, you know what we can do? We can now get another skill, which is really good. The medic can get the patch up. It's a passive skill. But not consuming any TP. I feel like that's super valuable. Fire damage up. Okay, for me, I feel like my defense needs to go up again. I'm getting a sense of uh, defense is important. Okay. Oh no. Oh no, the, the bug! Um, run! The bug is too strong for us! There's like a... Inspect. No one in your party is skilled in chopping vegetation. Alright, do we got a veggies icon? Oh, this is where we need something like, um... Wait, hold on, I got this. I don't got this, never mind. I thought I did. I th uh, great vegetables. This is... My icon- I feel like I don't have enough icons for this. This is... <laughs> this is a four-leaf clover. <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, would touch me and it's our absolute horror. I, I feel like this is pretty decently done. I don't know. I don't mind how this is happening. Inspect. As you continue down the path, you find red fruit growing on the wall of trees. It hangs just within your reach, seemingly daring you to pluck it and take a bite. You can stare for a moment whether or not to eat the fruit. Am I gonna die? I'm gonna die. The fruit's sweet juices slid down Crystal's throat. <gasps> I recovered 10 HP! I didn't need it, but thank you. Oh my god, four moles? Oh, four. Wait, I, did I say four? I meant three. <laughs> Surprise, I'm the fourth mole. Great, I died. Hold on. Before we move on, I'm gonna yeet myself. Bye, chat. I'm going over here. I'm going away from chat. You guys are... You guys go in timeout. I'm putting you up here. That's what you get for making fun of the fact that I said four moles. <laughs> You're a YouTube frog. I've never heard that before, but that is so fun. I'm a YouTube frog. <laughs> I started to say I enjoy your content. That is very sweet. What the hell? I enjoy that you enjoy my content. Thank you so much. Enjoy your lurking. Enjoy your lurking. Bro, I'm gonna die. Oh, great. My survivalist is fucking dead. I gotta go back. Um, okay, let's use a Medica on me. All right, it, I didn't realize how much effort it takes. Like, you cannot complete the red box in one go, unless you're actually a god. 
Unfortunately, I am just a simple, humble map god. Pretty bread survivalist if they can't survive. I do feel bad. I, I do feel bad. My survivalist uh, dies the most. Dude, Nurge out here one-shotting fucking butterflies. If <laughs> the survivalist had one fucking job. Oh, man. Forty! Jesus. Hey, Ashard, welcome! I'm on my way back home, okay? I'm not getting a game over ever again. Mark my words. You guys are laughing, but I'm not getting a game over ever again. I'm telling you. I had two game overs and I'm not getting a third. Man, my survivalist kind of slacking. All right. Thirty. Bro, I'm not getting any more money here. Better get your shit together. Sleep until morning, sleep until evening. I'm very confused. Wait, 15 versus... Fi Wait, 15 now? 15? This is a scam! Store goods, claim goods, so you can... Okay, there's a storage, got it. And there's an inventory, okay. I did not know that. So I actually have to come back to save frequently because I could get a game over, but I'm not gonna get a, get, gonna get a game over, but I could get a game over. Let's see if there are any quests. Oh wait, I have to get my guild recognized by completing the red box. Dude! In order for your guild to be legit, you have to complete a red box. Fuck off. All right, survivalist, do your survival thing. Yeah, we're gonna watch Summer Game Sis and the Xbox Showcase together. So we'll be watching it on stream. I'm not actually sure when it is. I thought it was like June 8th or something like that. But absolutely. And the RGG Summit. Don't forget the RGG Summit. The most important thing. So June 8th and June 11th, got it. Well, yeah, you can expect a stream for both of those. We'll watch it together as a community. And um, yeah, definitely two damage. Ooh. And definitely the RGG Summit. The only thing that sucks about the RGG Summit is that it's at 11 p.m. Eastern, which is my time zone. <laughs> so 11... Uh, 11 p.m. Eastern is a little bit rough. I'm gonna be so tired. I'm also gonna wake up my neighbors. My neighbors, I'm pretty sure, are gonna hate me after that. Yeah, this is, uh, I'm playing it on Steam. I wish I was playing it on Nintendo Switch. However, I'm secretly a little bit thankful too. All right, I'm gonna beat up these venomous butterflies. They're gonna die.
All right, we're going to raise party defense and we're going to light up these fuckers. Ow. Ow. I killed one. I'm strong. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe I defend and cure and then and then and then use a medica on them and then fire Oh. Oh, I'm alive. I'm alive. Okay, we're good, we're good. Yeah! No more game overs! Fuck yeah! I did it! I did it, Mom! Get the camera! Okay, that's awesome. Okay, okay, okay. Defense up, TP up, shield mastery. Okay, so we wanna mine? Um chop gather plants at gathering points i'm actually not sure if that veggie place is oh i don't know if it's chop or take i'll go back to it and we'll see i'm putting another point in patch up it's a Wait, hold up. Let me see. Let me see. I don't want to spend all my points, except for you. You're like everything that I have. Oh, wait. Toxins? He has poison? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, let's talk about poison, though. Because <laughs> apparently it's amazing. Maybe he should get poison. Okay. All right, we'll use a uh, Medica. Nobody's dying in this house. So this one... No one in your party is skilled at chopping. Okay. So we go back and the survivalist is now... Gonna chop? Wait, I also have the troubadour. Oh wait, she does take. Okay, so the survivalist has to do the chop. Mugwort! Oh, I can do it again? You have your reached your limit for today. Okay, but you know what this means on my map? We have to put a chopping thing here. Oh, man. Oh, God. Not the claw bug. Run! All right, I can leave. I actually beat up the venomous. Oh, oh, and we're also done with our objective. We filled out the red box. Ow. All right, we can beat these guys up easy. Wow, these battles are made for babies now. Look how easy we're handling this. All right. I bet the soldier is going to be so impressed with me. How much TP? Okay, my cure... Mm. I'm just gonna keep using a Medica. Damn. 
Dang, we got strong pretty fast. <clears throat> I should try the claw bug. I do genuinely think we could take out a claw bug at this point. As you stride through the forest, you meet the soldier. Once he knows he's a presence, he hails you cheerfully. Got your mop all in order, have you? In that case, you've got my permission to proceed. The soldier stands as if passing the torch to you. You ought to report your success to Radha, but the thought of going deeper in is also tempting. I want the loot. We're gonna go and get the loot. All the way back here where we ventured outside of the red box. I feel like I'm unstoppable at this point. They called it Medica? Yeah, and Medica 2 as well. So now my brain can't stop thinking about Final Fantasy XIV even more than before. You like the designs of everything. I wish I didn't have to beat up a butterfly because it seems really cute and pretty. I don't know why butterflies are exactly like, you know, attacking, but okay. All right, open the box. All right, now I'm rich again. Do I go for the claw bug? I don't think we should. I haven't saved in a while. I would have to go back to doing the venomous butterfly. Oh, the time of day, it, uh... All right, I'm heading back home, and then we can venture deeper into the labyrinth. You're planning on only getting three. Oh, wow. Okay, so like, that's, that's interesting to me. Faye, thank you so much for the five months. I appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. So, I think I've seen that a couple times online. It seems like most people just want to play three. Like, are one and two bad games? Three seems to be the more popular one. Oh, don't worry. I do want to finish my map. Ahem. <clears throat> Excuse you. All right, fine. You want to see the map god at work? Fine, I'll show you the map god at work. I'll show you. Where's the treasure? There's no treasure icon. There's just a TP. Hmm. Um. Oh, there it is. That took me way too long to find. I bet you guys are impressed with my map skills, right? It's probably the best map mapping that you've ever experienced, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I work very hard. I've trained my whole life to be the one true map god. Four was your jam back in the day. One and two are still good games. Three is just popular. Okay, well, I'll work my way up to getting to three, but in the meantime, I'm just gonna try to bust my way through one and two. That's the game plan. would be scarce. Yeah, exactly. But developers are working on getting 3DS games ported out, hence Etrian Odyssey happening and others. It's in the works. Oh, I have to... Oh, right. Radha Hall. Look at me! Report results. Ha! Huh, I have completed my red box map. 
Oh my god, this is so nostalgic. This is like such a small thing. But that crown that was just on the screen reminded me of King's Quest, if anybody had played those PC games like way back in the day. That, that crown is like iconic. We've received word from our soldier that you've completed your map. We acknowledge and recognize your status as true explorers from this map point on. From this map point on. You belong to the Bitches Guild, correct? Let me give you the standard reward. Shileka's Goods. She'll sell you items necessary for your adventures. Stock up there and work hard to explore the labyrinth for us from here on out. <gasps> 500? I love, King uh, like, King's Quest is amazing. It was great to grow up with those games, but equally terrifying because they are so scary. I would have a lot of nightmares. They're genuinely terrifying. <clears throat> um, I'm playing with a mouse, so the mouse kind of acts as a stylus. I'm like switching between controller and drawing map with mouse. It's a good, it's a good combo. All right, do you have more missions for me? Report discoveries. Oh shit. I'm doing stuff. All right, cool. Even oaks grow from small acorns. Everything must begin somewhere. I have high hopes that you'll one day solve all of the forest mysteries. I think that we will. Oh, King's Quest, yeah, you needed like a walkthrough or a guide of some sort. There was a specific website back in the day that if you played King's Quest, they didn't give you like, it, it wasn't a walkthrough or like telling you how to solve a puzzle, but it was a cool website that gave you hints. Like if you had, if you were stumbling on something or a puzzle, it would give you a, like three layers of hints. And that was the best. I like whenever something doesn't outright tell you the answer, but like just gives you a hint so you can try to figure it out yourself still. And I don't even know if that website still exists, but man, I love that shit so much. So much better than walkthroughs. I'm starting to hear about you from off-duty soldiers. Everyone's pretty excited. So am I right in thinking it's time to talk business? Here at the Golden Deer, I hear all sorts of problems that only adventurers can solve. Gathering materials, wiping out monsters, you name it, I hear someone sobbing about it. And when I do, I pass a request on to kids like you. You're welcome to take it. Adventures can accept girls, there are many types of rewards, except for quite a few. Okay. The leather smith is smith's favor. Seven strips of soft hide. And to taste once more. Reward Medica 2. Oh! Wait, an old adventure getting on in years wishes for holy water that can only be found within the forest. We found water. I don't know if it's like holy, but. Okay. Haha, -ha, I already did it! Oh, I abandoned it. Wait a second. Oopsie poopsie, didn't mean to do that. Okay, and now I have another one. Uh, a certain shop in Etria has requested one measure of pyrozine from the forest. Okay. You better remember that technique, oh God. Uh, hold on, I just need to make sure I... It seemed important. Okay. They're just telling me to do the skill things. Cool, cool, cool. All right, uh, save and let's go back in. Your brother liked Quest for Glory more than King's Quest. Quest for Glory? I've never heard of that. Is it similar to like the point and click style of a uh, King's Quest? Police Quest? I never heard of that. Huh.
the font is kind of killing you. I guess I'm not like a graphic designer or anything like that, so the font doesn't bother me. <laughs> it does look basic, that's all I'll say, but I don't know, that doesn't bother me. Is this a different font than what the original had? You joke about game FAQs, but I pray they don't shut down ever because there's a lot of guys that I still use to this day. I don't think game FAQ wasn't around back then, though. All right, I got the holy water, but I'm just going to end up keep going into the forest, I think. Oh, the DS font was different. OK. Uh. Maybe they just wanted to try something new. <laughs> I'm trying to give the benefit of the doubt here. I'm trying real hard, man. OK. Oh, this is a white crystal. I can't proceed. Let me uh, just do my uh, map god things, you know. Look at that. So good. So good, so beautiful. How does she do it? It looks similar to Times New Roman. <laughs> How do you say that? It kind of does. I don't think it is Times New Roman. Unless it's like Times New Roman, but bold. I know nothing about that stuff. They choose weird fonts. I, well, they're supposed to be choosing the fonts to be better, I, I guess. I, I'm, I, I feel like I'm giving too much benefit of the doubt here when I shouldn't be. Okay, things are starting to hurt. <clears> hmm. <throat> OG is pretty iconic. I do like when they feel more um, stylized, I think is the word I would use. It's more fun. I love the names of my characters. This is great. I didn't know I could do this. But it's making me very happy. You're a typography, typography major? Really? So this is Fut Futura? That's the name of the font? Oh no, I'm going down into the tree. blame it on like switch games it's what the developer chooses it's not on the switch it's more on atlas with what they chose here i know you're impressed i know you're sitting there super impressed as you continue into the brush a noise ahead draws your attention an intermittent sound is coming from the brush Something seems to be inside the tall grass before you. You peer futilely into it, wondering whether to chance it or leave the sound alone. As a party leader, Crystal pushed back the tall grass with their hands. Suddenly, Crystal felt a sharp pain in their hand. The noise seems to have come from a small snake. After biting Crystal's outstretched hand, it slithered off into the forest. I lost five HP. This is bullshit. We got venomous butterflies down here. Nice. Oh, I was worried about the poison for a sec. Okay. 
So one thing that I find that's really good is the poison just lasts for... It lasts for that battle, but it goes away after. Because that poison is brutal. That would be busted otherwise. The font design was probably the last thing on their minds. I think that I think the thought process behind it is that they want to make it simpler, like maybe simpler for plebs to read. <laughs> maybe the old font was more difficult to read, so that's why they decided against it. I don't know. doesn't use the in-game keyboard. Interesting. I forgot to check and see. I'm sure there is a, like an item, like a go home type of item. <gasps> oh my God, that jumpy bunny is so cute. <laughs> Wait, why are you so adorable? The fuck? I bet it's gonna whoop my ass, though. Do I burn it? Burn the bunny? Burn the banui? The killer! Oh my god, 17 off of that bunny? for the 27 months of oh god i appreciate it the survivalist is doing a really bad job of um well like surviving uh i i uh i can't i can't like put it in a nicer way man I need like a go home. They should have those by now. Cause this is like a lot to trek back to. And this is only the beginning. Survivalist is supposed to be front and back line. That can be either one. I could use more on the front line in general, I think. I'm not sure I am vibing with Mm, my troubadour, like the this is ass. I'm not sure I'm vibing with the the skill set here, but maybe I just have to let her cook, you know. Maybe I just have to let her cook. This is truly ass. <laughs> Get out of here. The Spanish translation of this game is bad? Oh. Well, do they at least get a gold star that says like, you tried? You tried. I don't know if I want to keep the troubadour right now. Oh my god, the inn is getting more expensive by the day! This is bullshit. I forget my party set up. Um, a, a medic, a alchemist, a troubadour, a luchador, and... Whatever uwu is. A uh, survivalist, right. There are no items stored. Okay. Let's see if they have more in here than they did. Oh, wait. Oh, this is the store I never went to. Oops. Um, <clears throat> I guess it wouldn't matter either way, because normally equipment is really expensive. Okay. 
Wait a second, let me equip. I did pick up a sword in here and I never equipped it. Mmm, good job, Crystal. Would have been nice. All right, weapons, armor. Armor would be good. Oh, it's not that expensive. I was thinking this was kind of expensive. Everybody is wearing tweed. Um, Tarj. This only gives one defense? All of this for one? I have to spend so much money on one? I like my leaf boots. Shaleka is her name? She's a popular character. She is a cutie. She absolutely a cutie. Hold on, I'm still getting fucked up. Okay. I'm just giving everyone uh, uh, leaf boots for now. I could also give another point. I, for some reason, I just don't want to spend money, though. Is that dumb? I, it's dumb. I should spend money. I. Mm. I should spend it. I should just do it. Uh, Nick Love. Okay. I didn't switch it. Fuck. I have a cute hairpin. All right, I could also buy... Okay, wait, 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 wait. Accessories? Wait a second, this gives me five more HP than Tweed. My money is going down really fast. We should probably... Okay, wait, wait, wait. Mm. She'll figure it out? Of course I will. I just started the game. I'm not gonna figure out everything right away. Award chime. Its annoying chime rate decreases the encounter rate. That doesn't sound like a good idea. I'll keep it in mind knowing that it exists, but it doesn't sound like a good idea early game because you kind of want to level. I don't know how much stuff I even have. Some of this stuff seems to be used in quests, though, so let me... I'll come back once I complete my quests. Uh, receive missions. Report results. Report discoveries. There, I have a hair. I have a hair tail. Oh, I didn't beat up a crab. Oh wait, no, I don't want the Explorer's Guild. Okay, manage quests. Report results. That gives me a Medica 2. The client said that her grandpa discovered this stuff back when he was an adventurer. He was on the verge of death when he found it and thought it would be his last meal. Then it happened. He suddenly felt revitalized and safely made it all the way to town. Looks like everyday well water to me, but it saved him. No matter, no wonder he thought it was holy. I bet that girl will be thrilled to hear that you found it. Think there really is some mysterious power in this stuff? Nah. Of course not. It didn't do anything whenever I freaking d d used it. Not salty or anything. More quests. Monstrous Codex. Inscribe 10 monsters into the Codex. Okay. 
Copying off somebody's list is cheating. <laughs> okay. I don't want to sell everything, so we're just going to sell... Because I don't know what is going to be used for a quest. I do have a lot of small things, though. Shaleka has a new item in stock. Ooh, a dagger. So I have five bug wings. I'll, uh, for now, I'll keep, like, a few things on deck. Shaleka has a new item in stock. That's interesting. By selling, huh? So the dagger makes it plus nine. You need five more soft hide. Oh, it even tells you. Oh, that's so nice. Five more soft hide in order to get the fang whip. Dang, kinky. All right. Leaf coat. Need five more vine. Oh, that's awesome. I don't know. I kind of like systems like that. Huh. Interesting. It's an inch. I don't know. It's an interesting way of doing it. All right. Now, if I go back into the labyrinth, I will be able to stay in there forever. The last thing I need to do is, uh, I have some skill points to spend. So I can provoke, attack enemies, uh, await enemies attack to parry it and negate damage. Ooh, parry. I'm getting parry. All right, the healer. So I can do salve, restore some of my HP to the entire party. I should probably get that. Cure two is now available. So I have to get cure to level three or wait, wait, yeah, okay. There's so much the medic can do, wow. Medic, good. The materials take up inventory space. Well, I don't have to worry about that for a while. I just started, so I have my inventory space, you know. I got a lot of room. It doesn't seem like a concern I need to have right now. It's kind of like, uh, we worry about that. We cross that bridge when we get there. Harry the Platypus. I've never watched, um, God, what's that show? Phineas and Ferb, I think. Okay, this map sucks. I don't think I've ever said that before, but it does. Nah, never watched it. Well, Phineas and Ferb was a little bit after my time. Like, it, it started airing whenever I was getting out of watching shows like that. Uh, and I kind of, I don't know, I was kind of, I was kind of done with the genre. It came out too late. I, I became too old at that point. <laughs> the map is in the system or the map is in the floor? The floor. Like, nothing connects on the first floor. So if I wanted to go to, like, the far end of the map to, like, chop veggies, I have to travel very far, and it's kind of annoying. No, no, not map god disapproval. It's just the, um, how do you describe that? Like, the layout of the map? <clears throat> they remastered the original instead of the remake. I don't know the difference. All I know is that I'm having a good time becoming a map god. As you continue your adventure, a ferocious roar echoes through the forest. Moments afterward, you hear heavy hooved footsteps galloping through the forest. I'm just huge. <laughs> Who's doing this? Thank you so much to whoever is anonymously gifting subs to this time bad map. Appreciate it. A dreadful enemy unlike any you have yet seen is fast approaching. 
The dot on the map is a type of enemy known as an FOE. Oh my god, the foes are back! Uh, Formido, up. Opgenatura, ex sequence, I... Yep. For every movement that you make, it makes one as well. I know how FOEs work, okay? I am experienced in the ways of FOEs. Kill them, kill them. They both missed. Oh, lucky. We're so lucky. Ooh. So here's the thing. I could do exactly what I did in Persona Q, where I said, fuck it, I'm gonna defeat the FOEs. Because I'm dumb. And I don't know, that just sounds like a cool thing to do again. I'm a parrying bitch now. Okay, two hairs. These guys were pretty strong. Thank you for that. You know, I, uh, I do my best to enjoy my map god journey. Burn the bunny. and FOEs are no joke. You know what? People told me that about, that about Persona Q FOEs, too. They were like, Crystal, you shouldn't do it. I proved everyone wrong. And I want to do it again. Alright, so now we get another uh, skill here. Do I want to provoke? We uh, sacrifice HP to escape from battle to the previous floor. Wait, the fact that you can go to the previous floor is actually really awesome. Firewall, ice wall, volt wall, defender. Party assumes a protective formation that increases physical defense. Smite. I'm not sure what I want. HP up. Okay, the healer. Hmm. Oh my god, my troubadour has three points. Oops! Stalker. Cautions, cautious steps reduce the chances of enemy encounters. Decreases encounter rate by 30% and it's 2 TP. Okay. So it's a search skill. It's not actually passive, though. You have to activate it. Erasure. Startling song that erases the enemy's status benefits. Recovers party status ailments more quickly. Increases the party's maximum HP is cool. Increases experience for the entire party. Yo! Imbuing weapons? Okay, oof. There's a lot of good stuff here. I'm the only streamer you can watch without falling asleep. Oh. Well, I'm glad I don't put you to sleep. Happy to hear it. So recovery. Uh, reco uh yeah, okay, that's the party sandwich, so sandwich. Divinity though. Ugh! Okay, what do we want to do here? Conjure forth a flame to attack the enemy. Oh, 
cool. I feel like... Oh yeah, poison is what I wanted to try here. Poison and then TP up. Increases chances of the enemy dropping an item. Scavenge site warp. Uh, conjure site to see all FOEs on the map. Mm -hmm. TP regen though. Restores a small amount of TP after every turn in battle. <gasps> I need it! All right, large box. Open the large box. I got Ariana Grande! Oh my god, that's amazing. Never expected to get Ariana Grande in a box. Sheesh. Man, these venomous butterflies suck. You know what? Let's go on the offense here. <sighs> it's an RPG. I, I don't know if you can call this an RPG. It's kind of like just a dungeon crawler. I'm surprised. I expected like a story. There isn't really a story. You just, uh, I'm exploring a tree. And that's all I'm doing. The tree is cool. I guess eventually we have to find out why we're exploring the tree. Ooh. This is Elden Ring before Elden Ring, Elden Ring. What the fuck? <laughs> now I'm trying to not miss the inspects. I, I don't want to venture. Oh, that's an FOE. Uh, what will you do? I will not die. Yeah, it's kind of like really hard to come back though. So ooh, I, I feel like I really got to be careful. survivalist not surviving once again okay i don't think i have an foe marker like that's not that's not foe if i want to mark like they got a cool little arrow i want an arrow Seeing the designs in HD feels weird. Get used to it. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna use this because it's like the closest thing I have. He's coming toward me. Oh! Oh! It turned into an arrow! Wait. That's because... Oh, it didn't turn into an arrow. It's still there. Oh no! Oh no! Why? Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't mean to do that. Erase? Oh no. Oh no. Um. Is my whole map ruined? <gasps> oh my god. I thought my whole map was ruined, man. I thought. I really thought. I was. I was gonna cry. Wait, it's still there on my map. What the hell? Oh, oh, you have to drag it in the trash, right? Okay. Um, 
This FOE man. Okay, I do have a party member dead, so uh, I shouldn't keep exploring, right? Oh, fuck me. Okay, I, I can run. Running is an option. Don't be afraid to do it, Crystal. Uh, this is the last TP that I have, which is probably not very smart. No, I never want tips. Let me enjoy my life. Oof. Okay, I'll keep curing me. Keep me nice and healthy, okay? <sighs> Find it we're not seeing an animated models. Oh, it, did they animate the models? That's interesting. As you continue down the path, you spot an orange fruit growing on the wall. The edible looking fruit makes your mouth water. It would be no trouble to take the fruit and eat it. Eat the orange fruit. No one told me that this game was, like, really rude. I'm not fighting two bunnies. Elden Ring before Elden Ring, I guess we shall call it Elden Tree. A. Get it. Elden Tree. Oh my god, that's a that's a stretch. Okay, thread used to return the party to town from the labyrinth. So I do have an instant way to get back. I kind of want to save it for later. I feel like I'm okay right now. I just gotta make sure I keep running for my life. I keep running for my life, man. Oh, Jesus. Please? Okay. Please be nice. Okay. Skills. Cure. Cure me. Okay, we're fine. Oh, shit, it's a rat. I'm... Uh. Oh, God. Yo, these bunnies want me dead! They won't let me chill. The ticking clock scares the fuck out of me. Oh, great. Now the claw bug wants me dead. Damn it. Okay. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. <sighs> we made it back home. Woo! It's rough out there. It is, it is a rough life. Oh my god. And this inn keeps on getting more and more expensive. What do you, bro? I feel like I'm getting cheated out. Have I ever seen Monty Python in the Holy Grout? You might as well ask me if I'm a human being. So, no. <laughs> Y'all saying I'm not human? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Appreciate it. You know, I really feel the, the love and support. Uh, checking on bunny lore. Oh, God. 
you're talking about the the ravaging bunny and Monty Python, are you? Oh God, my rows are backwards. Wait, no, 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 no. They should be the other way around. Oh God. Crystals are minerals, not people. <laughs> Damn. Dang, dude. That's, that's rough. Oof. I'm, I'm a mineral, I'm not a person. I mean, let's be real. Some people think content creators aren't people or entertainers in general. That is a sad truth that we live with. I think I should take on an FOE. Personally. I only exist to entertain. Well, yeah, that too. You got that right, buddy. <clears throat> I want to see... Hold on, let me go to the settings real quick. I did speed it up before I started stream today, but let me just try to even do it faster. Very fast. Adjust the speed of skipped animations while holding down X. I am zooming. You want to know why I'm zooming? Because there are four games coming out this month <laughs> that I want to play. Well, this game, Final Fantasy 16, and then we have Rain Code, and then Ghost Trick. Otherwise, known as our life is thoroughly fucked up the ass. And then Baldur's Gate 3 in August. I don't think I'll be streaming Baldur's Gate 3, honestly. It's probably a game that I'm gonna be more so playing off stream. That's a goat with a lion's mane. Oh, Jesus. Light it on fire. Oh, God. That's a strong motherfucker. Oh boy. Oh dear. Oh my god. Okay, note to self run away from deer. These guys hurt a lot. Did you have video breaking down the social links only for Persona 3 or was it for all the games in that series? I've never done any videos like that. So I don't know. I'm sorry. You haven't even finished Zelda? Same. It's all right, we just out here suffering. I want to see if I can... I want to go the direction past the FOEs. Oh god, where are we going? This labyrinth is huge! 
Ain't nobody telling me how big this shit is. <clears throat> I'm guessing those names aren't chosen by the devs. What do you mean? You think that these aren't chosen by the devs? fight another deer. Oh my god! Fucking hell. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. It's following. It's still following. Oh, God. Oh, fucking hell. The tree standing at the end of a narrow trail. You see a shriveled green fruit. Judging from its color and shape, it doesn't look edible. If you really wish, you can pluck the fruit and eat it. They're even warning me to not eat it, but I'm gonna eat it. Appearances to the contrary. The fruit was fresh and juicy. I recovered 10 HP. Thank you. I need a lot more than just 10 HP, buddy. Music is different. <sighs> Wait, this is the stairs? This is descending, okay. Interesting. I didn't mean to run into the FOE, by the way. That was an accident. <gasps> I want to film out the map. Oh, wait. I don't have to walk on it. To oh, my God. I'm an idiot. I'm thinking I have to walk on the map in order to, like... Oh, okay, crystal. Wait, this map can go so much further. This is weird. About fighting the FOE. I mean, I will. I'm just too weak. Oh my god, there's a red FOE on the map and he's hunting me down. As you descend into a new floor, a premonition of bloodshed sends a chill down your spine. Even new adventures such as yourself can clearly feel the overwhelming sensation. It is the specter of death looming over you as you prepare to face unknown dangers. Take heed, beasts red of tooth and claw run rampant here. Fleeing from these creatures is no shameful thing. In these depths, survival is paramount. Oh, 
Oh god, what the fuck is that thing? You can see him? I know, it's kind of terrifying. Crystal is a map. I'm just a map. Yes, it's true. I don't know what the game is trying to tell me, honestly. I'm just gonna keep being a map god. That's all I'm gonna do. I got Mandrake and Charcoal. So there is a wall behind me all the way down. So it chases you for three turns and then it fucks off. That's what we're learning today. damage my defense oh the defense decreased all around oh fuck oh fuck this is bad oh god the beginning of this game is so rough I don't understand ow because you are crystal meth what what would you i'm made of crystal meth jesus christ i need to go back home i'm going back home all right we put an upstairs on our map and then we also Wait, what am I doing? Wait, the here. I gotta become the map god, and there's only one way to do that. Beautiful. Have you ever seen such a beautiful map? I don't know if I can make it back though. Like I oof. This is this is a little bit rough. And that other sun, I think I know the solution to our problem here. And that is, um, fighting FOEs. Why be afraid of FOEs when you can just face them? I bet he's easy anyway. Y'all are smiling. I'm gonna beat an FOE. This is my last heal I have. I'm- I'm out. Okay, we have another... Okay, okay, okay. Uh, nobody panic. More defense. <laughs> okay. Hmm. First hit? Uh, oh wait, no, no, no. That's not what I wanted off of you. I'm just gonna keep with those. And then healing. We want more cure, I think. 
Wait, TP goes up by five. I'm gonna do patch up again. Patch up, I feel like, can be really good for keeping yourself nice and healthy. Right now, it's so small. Is it just like a more difficult fight? Honestly, FOEs are not any more difficult than regular fights. The game just wants you to think that, but you're fine. You're not gonna have any problems. <laughs> just fight an FOE. What's the worst that can happen? Also means freaking overpowered enemy. <laughs> freaking overpowered enemy. <laughs> Wait, maybe that ain't so bad. This kind of makes you dizzy though to, to look at. I'm not gonna lie. Dude, the daunting music after those battles! Ah! Holy shit. Three moles. Let's see if the survivalist actually survives. Damn, actually though. No crabs. I kind of want to fight a crab now to fill up my compendium now that I see the value. <sighs> I'm gonna go back. We're gonna heal up. We're gonna rest up. Hold on, I want one more fight though. Oh, it's just one fucking mole. Also, that's not what a mole looks like. All right, we're gonna heal up, rest up. I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna defeat an FOE. Then nobody can laugh at me. <laughs> I'm gonna defeat it. No one's gonna stop me. I need to buy more Medica too. All right, so buy. The Amrita is so expensive. I can't carry any more items. That's okay. Because uh, we're just gonna go... Okay, selling goods at Shalaka Laka. Shalaka Laka! So I guess it doesn't take much. We can just sell everything, I guess. I don't know why I'm like afraid to do that. Okay, so now we have a doublet. Bone Axe, Bone Staff, A. Eh? New item in stock, Fang Whip, Hide Ring. Ooh. Time to get our asses kicked? What? I'm not gonna get my ass kicked. Y'all have no faith. I can get rid of, I guess, the... Tweed? No one likes Tweed. Okay, girl, what you got? What you got? I need new stuff. Okay, attack. I don't think anybody... So, shh, only a knife is available to you. I can make her attack go up. Oh my god. I feel like I need to spend money on upgrades, I'm just afraid to do that. I 
feel like it's so important to... I'm such a... Uh, I have that, like, old-fashioned RPG gamer. I'm like, oh, I need to save my money. Tech. Okay, I feel like my alchemist needs the most attack. So he, he's going to get a brand new bone staff. Hate that it's named bone staff, but whatever. All right, armor. So a doublet. Vit and defense, kind of nice. She cannot wear the doublet. Oh, I should give it to the survivalist. Maybe you'll actually survive. Oh my god. One more vine. One more gum hide? Gum hide. Okay. Hmm. Hide hat being TP is nice. All right, the alchemist needs a uh, needs a little bit of a buff. All right, so if I sell the one vine I have, oh, she says tat okay, tat okay. I kind of wish that these characters had voices. Uh, a part of me wishes that there was voices here, but it's okay. I understand. Budget of game not that big. All right, now we save and we go beat up an FOE. I'm a new and improved woman. <clears throat> DS voices were crunchy. Wait, crunchy is how you describe it? That is awfully disturbing. Crunchy. It's an inter interesting description you have there. Crackly like a cereal book. Crackly. Crackly. Crunchy. Prediction. We don't need a prediction. I never die. You guys know this. I never die in video games. It is so hard to run away from this fucking bunny. All right, you ready? I'm raising my defense, lighting it on fire. Oh, I should have poisoned it. Almost dead. Oh, the survivalist ain't surviving once again. What a shocker. As long as Nurge doesn't die, I think we're okay. Oof, this music is intense. Oh, 
One shot at my medic. Oh, no. I was so close. I was close. I can do it. Now, Jack, here comes the part where we throw our heads back in laughter. Ready? Ready. Ha 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 ha. Laughing at a broken streamer is so mean. I think with the power of Nurge, I can defeat the FOE. Get ready for round two. This is the last attempt, by the way, for the time being. Two, buddy, round two. Had no effect on Crystal. Oh, shit. We're light. Oh, my God. He's going to die. He's going to die. Oh god, oh god. Okay, cure. Um increase strength. <gasps> the parry is so good. We're gaming. damage dealer uh so this is a little bad doing like nine every turn. Nurge was doing the damage, man. <gasps> My 
one medic! Oh no, we can do this, guys! We can do this! It's okay. It's okay. Oh, I'm out of... Oh, God. He missed! He missed! He missed again! Is the survivalist actually gonna survive? That's the question! Oh! Come on! Now what do I do? Everybody's dead. I did it. Um, okay. All right. Um, uh, Everybody's dead. I have to spend money on reviving everybody. Now, Jack, here comes the part where we throw our heads back in laughter at the FOE. Ready? Ready. Ha 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 ha. Everybody's dead. So I beat up an FOE, but I'm not sure why I did it, because I feel like I just lost a lot of money at the end of the day. You had total faith the whole time. Thank you. I am I know that you didn't, but I appreciate your white lie. <laughs> the horn that I got is only 18? Bruh. I thought I played this on basic mode. This is basic, by the way. I, I just want to put that out there that this is basic! Thank you so much for using your prime on the channel, man. I appreciate it. So I kind of want to beat up another FOE. I just bought a fucking bow. Are you kidding me? I am now desperate for money. So I am now <laughs> selling everything I own. They're extremely difficult. If they're so extremely difficult, how was I able to defeat an FOE, huh? Even though this is basic bitch mode, huh? <laughs> Thank you for the 27 months, Luxeard. I appreciate it. So, removes bindings, Axella, herbal perfume that restores 10 boost points. We haven't even got the boost points mechanic yet. <laughs> this is... Okay, I'm gonna be honest. This is not what I expected out of Etrian Odyssey, guys. I was expecting, like, oh, maybe, like, a really cute RPG dungeon crawler. It's not an emblem thing. I'm just huge. <laughs> this isn't what I was expecting at all. 
Mordecai, thank you so much for gifting a sub to everyone is dead. Thank you. Thank you for that. Much appreciated. Subduing the wolf fly. Wood fly. Wolf flies. Oh my god, could you imagine? A terminally ill boy of Etria wishes to meet a brave and excellent Landschnecht. I am Crystal, the Landschnecht. That poor kid, he'll never be strong, so he wanted to meet a powerful adventure. He's hoping to meet a Landschnecht above level 20. That's far, lady. Oh, you were expecting a cute dungeon crawler and got sent to the ER several times by a deer. It was twice. Oh, wait, no, once. I literally only died once to that deer. What do you mean? This is... This is an outrage. I'm so confused. I literally feel like I was thrown into a pit of fire in this game, and they're like... Take care of it. Not gonna lie, I like that. It's just not what I was expecting. I thought this was a cute little innocent RPG. Ain't nothing bad ever gonna happen to you. Cause it's just so cute. I think I have found out that I was sorely mistaken. <clears throat> the rest of your party died the second time, but did I win? But did I win? Do you have to draw maps? Um... You can have auto map on, and you barely have to do anything, it seems. Or you could become the one true map god. Wait, the FOE is permanently dead! Guys, it, this game is so easy! Just beat up all the FOEs and then you can go wherever the fuck you want! is too easy. Let me see here. Let me use an item instead of my TP. Wow, it's nice to explore without any FOEs around. Oh. need that guy.
don't know where I am. I don't know where I'm going. Great. Oh boy. If I could just find a shortcut, oh God. Wait, it's chasing me now? Wait, why? Don't do that. I'm going deeper into the forest. Don't ask me why. this guys don't worry nerge died this is going to help me in my quest nectar oh now I can't lose I make the most beautiful maps. Hello, everybody. much for the 11 month resub much appreciated oh ow fuck oh sorry i'm really hoping we come across a shortcut soon i'm trying to explore the lower end in the hopes that I reach a shortcut. It's gotta happen eventually. You can't just like keep exploring down into the labyrinth without any shortcuts. No hit, no death challenge. No hit? Excuse me? No hit. Game is made for babies. Almost one year. You are almost at one year, man. One year of subscribing to this ass. That's dedication. This is a very long walk down. Two Banuis. Picnic mode. Nah, if it was easier than this, I would not be happy. Okay, what do I want for you? You need everything, bitch. You need HP up and at Multi-hit. Fire two arrows at once or three at high levels. It'd be nice to have AoE. Hmm. It's all about 
about the skills. Disable. Aim for the opponent's feet for a chance to bind its, uh, binding its legs. Not bad. Oh, my true roar has one too. Oops. Um. If free, Ymir, dude. <gasps> Is this a shortcut? It seems you cannot proceed. That I thought this would take me to the other crystal. God damn it. Wait, I wonder if they're like right above each other. So, like, this white crystal... Oh, the white crystal's over there. Okay. So, not quite the same. Mm. Oh, Jesus! The survivalist is really trying to die again. <laughs> Not on my watch, buddy. I wonder how easy pick mo Pikmin Pikmin mode is. gonna go around it's a circle anyway oh god um i feel like we should go for it let's just try to beat up some bitches today is much easier. <laughs> okay, I really need to stop avoiding these fights. Wait, so I'm literally only coming all the way this direction for a chest, and that's it. For nectar. Bro! I thought that there was going to be, like, another path, but nope. So I defeated this FOE just to access Nectar, and that's it. Oh. Please don't hurt me. I do feel a lot stronger, though. I don't feel like uh, anything in this floor can really hurt me. <gasps> Why did it turn around? No! You weren't supposed to turn around! Stop, stop, stop! Holy shit. Don't do that to me, asshole. I defeated an FOE to get Nectar, and that is it. Hmm. Oh, 
I didn't mean to use my fire. Oh no. Okay, good. I didn't actually. I need to look at item descriptions. Bro, fucking chill. My god. I don't like doing that early game for every single item because it's like information overload when you're just starting a game. I do it when I know I can handle it. There's a lot to take in, especially with this game that literally just throws you into a pit of fire and expects you to deal with everything. Woof! I'm still learning the ropes. I'm right now I keep thinking about my classes. I'm like, I'm I'm not sure if I want to keep a troubadour around. So I'm a little bit conflicted there. Not enjoying my troubadour. But there might be later potential, so. But yeah, also, please don't ask questions that warrant things that I don't want to know. For example, what does the clock do? I don't know the answer to that, and I don't want to know. You can Google that question. You still haven't subdued... Oh. Okay. I thought I did. I'm debating what I want to do with my life. Okay, we got to keep going. Save the game. We're only two hours in. Wait, that can't be right. We're not two hours in. It doesn't count my time after my game overs. No, it's not accurate. Uh, all right, here we go. Back in the labyrinth. No, uh, it was not explained yet. They probably will get there eventually. Or if not, I'll figure it out as we go. But right now there's like no bearing. I thought like, oh, maybe the enemies will be different at different times of day, but I haven't noticed that. I haven't taken a note of anything like that happening, so. Ding, ding. Oops. Even the venomous butterflies, we've come a long way. Remember when they used to be super scary? Well, now they're super not. Okay, healer. Revive, bring the dead back to life. Holy fuck, I feel like I need that. It's gonna be a long time before that though. Um, CPR? Chance that party members will survive mortal blows with one HP. Regen, small amount of HP to one party member each turn. Ah, I hate that it's one party member. Medium amount, large amount, cure three, revive. TP regen is nice too. Actually, I'm, I'm gonna go into TP here. More into songs, and you more into TP for now. Scavenge. Okay. I will say, I like how much, um, how many different things you can do in the game. As, like, you can completely make your own team, like, right off the bat. Everybody's playthrough is going to be different because of that. So it makes it kind of exciting. I really like it. Every playthrough is going to be massively different. And then with the skill trees, what you acquire first and how like, there's so much optimization that it makes it genuinely super interesting. I love I love that. 
So a lot of things are like genuinely impressing me about this game right now. Do I fight another FOE? Okay, no, I shouldn't. <laughs> How about we fight this one? The map doesn't show in battles. Well, right as of right now, I haven't noticed a reason to have that. Oh, we know an FOE is down here. I think I should just fight it. I'm strong enough to take anything now. Oh, it's one of those, though. We haven't fought this guy yet. Poison it. Oh, okay. Ooh, that's working out super well right now. Shit. Ooh, nullifying the damage. This is so good. Fuck. Oh, oh God, the survivalist just got fucked. That's a lot of damage. Oh my god. Woo! Come on, just survive, just survive. Go, go, go. supposed to get like a whole level from that or something wait that was so unsatisfying wait no oh now I'm sad huh. it should be it shouldn't feel satisfying to defeat an foe I feel Cause right now, that felt like shit. All right, open the box. A buff coat. Does it make me buff? I know, I feel bad for the survivalist, I really do. I, um... Uh... Yeah, e I feel like they're just having a really rough time, man. I need to give them more armor, I think, or something. I, d I did, actually. They're the one I spent the most on for armor. Let me see if I can actually equip that buff coat right away. So, plus two defense and agility. Kind of want that on the medic. I guess that's good loot to get, uh, to acquire. I can't be too mad about that. replay value that this series has is insane. I can see it. I can easily see it. Like, I would want to replay this game with, like, a hundred different builds. It kind of reminds me of Fire Emblem. Like, 
every time I go back and I replay Fire Emblem, I'm going to do it with like different characters, different builds, different jobs. Um, whereas here, I'm going to be kind of doing the same thing. My cure is uh, not doing much anymore. I need to buff the cure. Yeah. But if this is how the whole franchise is, I can easily see the appeal of the game. With the replayability factor especially. Because that's a lot of replayability. Oh my god, I used all of my skills on the boss fight. <laughs> oh no. Okay, we gotta get further into the labyrinth though, so I need to go to the stairs, it looks like, as my next de destination. And meander our way around that FOE, or we could just do it the crystal way and just defeat the FOE. That's the kind of method that I do all the time. The survivalist is really falling off here. God, these bunnies. Really enjoy it overall, though. It does make me wonder the how big this game is please don't answer that question but i'm just curious because they could make this game very large which makes me scared as a person that wants to play through these games kind of fast might not be able to happen uh, i'm thinking there might be some kind of problem there some complications Oh, those white crystals and the dark crystal, too. I have to figure out what those are. Mamma mia! All right, let's spend money on reviving the survivalist again. Bitch cannot stay alive. Oh my god, my money is almost gone. Oh, Jesus. Sell everything you have. Let me see. Is there a sell? There's not like... Oh, oh, there we go. Multi. I can just hold the square button. Jerkin? Nectar. Revival elixir made of honey resurrects with low HP. Wait, the nectar is a resurrect! <laughs> now it's good to know that. Cool, cool, cool. I thought it was something I was going to sell for a lot of money. Waki Zashi. I need hardwood for that. Surviving is very tricky and takes a lot of practice. I'm trying to learn how to survive. I'm trying my best. I want to raise my defense so much. I really do. The plate would be amazing. Uh, Odyssey Untold was your very first game before this one. Oh, really? Wait, like your very first game you've ever played? All right, saving and going. Oh, you mean in the series. Okay, I thought like it was your first game ever. I was like, oh, geez. <clears throat> the nectar, if I saw correctly, it only gives me 200, which I mean is a lot. Granted.
Remember when these rats used to be killing me? Those were the good old days, man. Those were the good old days. All right, we have to make our way all the way over to those stairs and then all the way back, man. All right, dear. Oh, jeez. Oh, dear. Is the survivalist gonna die again? <laughs> Cause bitch is looking like that. My god. This poor survivalist. Ah. Banui. I like that my character is really good though. Like Crystal as a protector. Oof, three Bluetooth flies. Someone give Uwu a hug. Uwu has to deserve the hug. All right, you have to earn it. Oh God, the poison. Maybe I should run. Bro, I was about to die. <laughs> Scary. You wanted to make a pun, but your phone said no? Good. Your phone knows what's up. Oh, look at the beautiful butterfly. Gee, I sure hope the survivalist survives. Okay. Oh God. They actually got a level up. Hmm. Lowering accuracy is also really good, though. Wait. How did I do this before? Oh. How did I do this? Oh, fuck me. Wait, this is a normal battle. This is normal. Um. I can't. Oh my god, I'm an idiot! Jesus Christ, Crystal, look at the map! You didn't see nothing. Please. Just, you didn't witness anything. Just so we're clear, you guys did not see shit.
Okay. Preemptive attack. That's good. Otherwise, I think I would have run away. How it feels when you play a train odyssey. Oh, no. Hey, I got hardwood. I made it to a door. Wait, is there a do door? Door. This is a door. Okay, um, my map is a little bit unsatisfying right now. Pretend you don't see anything right now. I'm gonna paint the town blue. Look at this butte. Look at this butte. Oh no. Too much. This is, like, greater than sex. Holy. Don't let anyone try to convince you otherwise. Okay. We finally made progress. But anything could go wrong, I guess, too. Drawing is my favorite part. It's so satisfying to be a map god. There's nothing like the feeling in the world. Nice. All right. Um. Oh. There is something out there. Oh, what are you, a sand shrew? Oh, uh, you're a roller. I'm gonna run. It's here somewhere. Is this FOE just like chillin'? Kind of weird. Huh. Yeah, we did fight, uh, what, two FOEs? Not too bad. I just realized that, like, I keep walking through every square, but I genuinely don't need to do that. I can just draw the map and keep moving. Like I'm I'm making my own life really hard right now. Okay, there's a door. Take these guys, right? If I have to fight a boss, I might cry though. God, poison hurts so much. me sometimes and then other times it fucks off so it's a bit weird oh my god ah! don't just do that 
that? I come across two female adventurers. One has a black robe and flame hair, while the other bears a fierce look and a katana. Who's there? demands the hard-bitten woman, one hand ready to draw her katana. The adventurers appear to be veterans and have made no move to lower their defenses. Perhaps they'll relent if you tell them that you are also adventurers from Etria. Hello, it is me, Bitchin. What if they hate adventurers from Etria, though? We're not adventurers. The severe warrior woman gives an exasperated sigh at your refusal to speak. Are you men or beasts incapable of speech? This area is closed. Return to town and take the matter up with Rada Hall. I am Ren Aronin and she is a hexer. We guard here under the Rada's orders. The hard looking woman called Ren barks the words at you coldly with a glare to match. It seems you should ask the Rada official for details of the situation. Are you kidding me? I have to walk all the way back? Ain't no fucking way. You're lucky that it's satisfying to draw a map, bitch. I gotta walk all the way back just to go to the hall and then come all the way back again too? Yes, this game came out yesterday. Indeed. I can actually fight on the way back. Since I know I'm on my way back home, I'm a little bit more bold. I hope I don't die, though. I don't have a go home. I used it earlier. Jump scare. I can't believe I just got jump scared by women. What the fuck? That can't be good. Run, 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 run. That can't be good. Wait, what's boost? That can't be good. We're running. That the music changed. Oh, that's the FOE. Oh, the FOE made it to me. Piece of shit. I forgot that the FOEs can move mid-battle. That's a big fly. It was even called a stalker. Like, why would I want to fight something called a stalker? Ain't no way, man. All right, we're speed running to the end. Oh, God. I am trapped in a corner. God, this is terrible. Oh, I can kill the FOE. It's just not good whenever I'm weak. Like, I'm not a dumbass. I am literally weak right now. If I had full resources, I'd be fighting it. But, yeah, I'm, I'm, I would like to think that sometimes I am not a dumbass. Just sometimes, though. Oof. 
They can only move when you move a tile. Um, no, it's just like Persona Q as well. Persona Q, the F FOEs could move toward you. They could and it was fucking terrifying. They could just show up at your door unannounced. Unconsensual. I just realized I'm pretty sure there's an auto battle function that I should be using. I hope it just does attacks. Yeah, I'll, I'll test that out. Auto. Auto battle is how you die, though. I'm gonna die. I have one more cure left. I have to make it home. This is such a way to get around, man. Uh, foes, this game's variant of a strong enemy in the area? Yes. So they're just your strong enemies. That FOE meme song? Wait, the FOE song is a meme? I've never heard that. Pretty old one, but yeah, wow. It makes me wonder if I've heard it in my youth at some point and I just didn't know what it was. I didn't know it was a meme. Oh, we can kill the crab. I have yet to kill a crab, I think. Did you just do 116 damage? Jesus fucking Christ. Even in your insert X here, FOE. Wow. Interesting. Now I feel like I have to listen to it. Does anybody... Uh, I guess links aren't allowed. What would I type into YouTube to bring it up on stream right now? FOE by Iosis? Okay. I hope I don't get like DMC'd for this, by the way. I'm now wondering if this is a spoiler. <laughs> should I should I watch this right now? Like or maybe I should just wait. I don't know what to do. It can't hurt if I just listen to it, right? Here we'll pull it up. From the beginning. Hold up. Oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot. This is not correct. Ah, hold on. I have to fix my life. All right. Display. Transform. Reset. Okay, try this. <laughs> what the hell?
Nein, weil sie erst mal Why am I watching? I love the dear JPEG. This is actually a thing. I've never heard this in my life. Why? What? What the fuck? I'm gonna get copyright striked for that, I bet. I wouldn't be surprised. That was something. Uh, cool. Now I can buy a short sword for attack plus 15. I would go from 27 to 34. Four, which is pretty significant for my person that does the most damage. I should also worry about armor <laughs> so people don't die. So defense. The plate is, uh, well, it's very good. Imagine that. So the jerkin. Not any better. So the doublet is what we're wearing. The doublet is what the... I don't think it's worth spending the money. The last leftover money that we have. F-O-E! F-O-E! Wait, oh! You know what? For next stream, uh, we're doing Etri and Odyssey every Monday, Wednesday, Friday on stream. So for Monday's stream, I will have an FOE alert. Maybe like a hundred bit alert. That'll just be for this playthrough. And I'll also make it a sound effect as well. So every time I see an FOE, I'll like play it for five seconds. Now that I have been introduced to this song. Okay, uh, oh, I'm supposed to be going to Rad Hall. The Rad Hall. Ah, members of bitches! I received word that you've reached the third floor. I'm sorry, but I'll have to ask that you postpone further investigation for now. It appears there are dangerous beasts prowling the lowered reaches of the grove. Wait, they weren't dangerous before, you fuck? Jeez. We're considering issuing a mission to exterminate these troublesome wolves until the lower floors are confirmed as safe, abandon all further exploration. What am I supposed to do, sit on my ass? A new mission is available, except, select accept missions. Okay. The Terror of Fenrir. A pack of wolves patrols the bottom of the Emerald Grove. Defeat Fenrir and the Alpha of the pack and perhaps the, their menace will be no more. Beyond the third floor, there have been many sightings of forest wolves. This in itself poses little danger, but they seem to be organized by a leader. That leader is Fenrir, and he awaits explorers on the fifth floor? Our own warriors are capable of defeating them, of course. I believe you've met them. But we can't over-rely on Ren and Tlaktga. 
or newcomers will have no chances to grow. Their current orders are to provide support to the young explorers. We ask that you use this help in defeating Fenrir. Okay. Is that 10 yet? I feel like it is. All right, cool. The Monstrous Codex. Okay, so now I can turn in that quest. Completed. Welcome back, kids. She calls me a kid. Wait. She completed my map? Don't take my fun away from me. So the red charm, TP plus five? Ooh. Oh, ho, ho. Agility goes down, but that's okay. Okay, now we go back and we can go on our merry way to the Fenrir and the fifth floor. I bet I'm gonna do this first try. Now it's stuck in your head. Everybody, F-O-E! I won't do that to you, I swear. Sorry, I had to go get chips. You just did? I did no such thing. Sorry, chips were definitely in order. Man, we still don't have like, I can't even buy a go home, man. That's brutal. dead. All right, second floor. Where the FOEs are. I'm actually, I feel like I'm surprised they introduced FOEs this early in the game. Like this game is brutal. Throwing it, throwing you into a pit of fire. Here's FOEs on the second floor. You just started. Oh fucking hell. My attack is so high, wow. That short sword doing work? That's just this series, okay. This series just does this. Nice. Ooh, that FOE got closer. Trinocid Odyssey gives no shits. Well, I guess I'm just forced to be a gamer. And the defense. 
Be a gamer or die trying. I'm a gamer. Okay. Clearly we got this. This auto battle is kind of scary. I shouldn't have done it. Oh, actually, it wasn't that bad. Hmm. Um, do I auto battle? No. No, you don't. I'm getting too carried away, man. Oh, <gasps> I could have died. It just auto battle at that point. OK, we're good. Okay. I'm running out of medicas. You can apparently name your party members. Wait, was that not obvious? For those of you that are very curious and wondering, I did name these. I know it's a shocker that Atlas didn't give these as like options. I'm just joking. Uh, yeah, but it's astounding. Like, I'm I'm kind of offended that Atlas wouldn't put Crystal in as like a pre option for a name that you could give a character. I'm gonna have to write a very strongly worded letter to them. We're no longer needed here. I bid you good luck. The women's the women stand aside as the severe Ronin offers a final word of advice. The wolves are resilient to enemies. We'll help you out as best as we can, but be careful. Considering this, you gaze into the forest and wonder if you should if you shouldn't stock up in town. They're giving me a warning. Bitch, I'm a gamer. There's too many doors. Okay, I'm getting overwhelmed. There's all there's only two doors and I'm overwhelmed. This is not a good sign. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, where did my door go? Oh, oh my god. I I don't want to talk about it. That fucking poison damage, man.
Yeah, they warned me to stock up on supplies. I should have gotten more medicas. But have no fear, I'm gonna be fine. All right, so this is door number two. Look at this beautiful door. All right, if I paint this town. Remember kids, this is a game about drawing maps. And I am here to respect that. The return of the map god. You bet, man. You bet. You see this professional? I'm such a professional! Oh god. A bed of flowers. I used to look at a bed of flowers and be like, Oh, that's so pretty. I bet this is a rest spot. I've quickly come to realize. That this game fucking hates your guts. Oh, we're almost at a level up. We're almost at a level up. Why are there two? Because this game loves you. That's why. Has the tree been revealed to be the main villain? Um, yes, at the very beginning of the game, whenever it was spinning at me. I feel like running is a good option. I want to survive long down here. It's just very hard to do so. Oh god. Like, we're very far away from the start and with no instant way to get back, which is pretty bad. Oh god, he's right behind me. Oh no, 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 no! Oh boy. Woo! I'm a little bit scared right now. Oh God, I have no more TP. Oh 
Oh, Jesus. No one has TP anymore. We're fucked. It's just a big cow. Yeah, it's, it's just a big cow. Ain't no big deal. I dodged? Ooh, that hurts. Oh my god, ow. It's almost dead. It's almost dead. Just auto. Oh. I feel like I should be getting way more experience for that. That is not near enough. Bro. You know how far back the walk is? Bro. Let me run. All right? I just want to make it back home safe and sound. That's all I want in life. Please. All right. Um, I can get cure. Uh, Bose, you're dead. So, um, I don't know what to do with you. Uh, multi-hit sounds nice. This ultimate shot takes three turns for its full effect to be felt. Excuse me? Thanks for coming. You can return now. You know how hard I work to get down here, man? Okay, anyway, um... My survivalist needs to be more helpful, I guess. Oh, I have two points in the medic? Wait, excuse me? Salve. Small amount of HP to the entire party. Yes. All right, so now we have all of these new things available. Uh, two points on Nurge. Um, I think I'm going with TP up. Increase the chances of an enemy of the enemy dropping an item. Uh, it's a passive, which is nice. I'm trying to get TP regen. But if I get more drops, I get more money. All right, I have to survive on the way up. Like, we, we have to. This is too good. I feel like I've accomplished so much, even though I went, like, not very far. So I really hope that we can make it back right now. Please just let me leave. All right, pray for me, please. I need to make it back alive. Stop attacking me. Oh, I should figure out what boost is. This is not the time to experiment. I'll do it on a other floor. Like, I need to experiment what that is and figure it out. But at the same time, I need to get home and I, that's experimenting. There's a time and place to experiment and now is not that time. 
It sounds very helpful. Fuck! Ha, outsmarted the system. Okay. We're on the second floor. Should be easier to get back. Oh, man. Um, we're slowly dying. Just, just get out of here. Just get out of here. Slowly just making our way to Deathland. Please let me leave. Please. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Just run away. Please? Oh my god. No, 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 no. Come on. Why? Oh my god. Let me run. Is my RNG just this bad? Okay, we're on the first floor, so all of these enemies should be nice and easy. My god, I'm like sprinting to the finish line here. <coughs> One tiny mole. I can auto. Oh. We're playing Q2. This is called a tree and Odyssey. No, I don't have an area I need thread. I don't have a go home. I'm just gonna call it a go home. My friends are dead. 90 to revive? Oh my god, I'm broke! I don't even know if I can afford the end, Jesus! Holy shit! I should get more reward off of killing FOEs. I feel like I don't get enough. We've beat up three, man. The reward's just not worth it. So, pedal ring. Looks lame. God, I would love a go home. It's annoying chime decreases the encounter rate. Uh, I can't spend money on that. Buy. I need to buy medicas, man. All of my money. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is painful. I'm destined for death. kicked as mandatory. <laughs> Please. Did I do this yet? Oh, okay. The inflation rate is insane! I feel like I deserve better treatment. I just started the game. We're on basic, buddy. We're on basic, all right. Should I report back? Nah. 
I am close to the entrance. Merlina, thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate it. Hope you had a wonderful stream. Wait, didn't I defeat this FOE? Hmm. It came back. So the FOEs don't stay permanently dead. Tis a shame. Tis a great shame. is ass why are they like the auto attack just randomly chooses an enemy to fight why not just attack one enemy and then the next one and then the next one that's like the most helpful thing you can do but it's so fucking random that's annoying uh i guess i'll just auto I don't want to fight a deer right now. You're going to play this on expert? I wish you the best of luck, soldier. Oh, I was supposed to experiment with boost. Fuck. Well, I guess I'll do it another time. Your party died and you switched your front line. Oh, my front back line? Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, don't backseat game. I don't want to know that stuff. Let me fuck up. I know you mean well, but that also could have been absolutely hilarious of a stream moment. Like, it, it's okay for me to be imperfect. I don't need to know these things. It does kind of ruin the experience. Like, I appreciate the the thought, but I do not like it. Ah, <sighs> to auto battle or to not auto battle, to auto battle. This is why you shouldn't auto battle. I'm leaving the survivalist dead. It's my own fault. Okay. Mm. Let me see. I can get one point in something. Await the enemy's attack to parry it and negate the damage. So activation rate goes up if I do it again. Because, like, parry is really good. Maybe I should get flee because it if I escape battle it goes to the previous floor. Wait, but that's Oh wait, no. That's different. Like that's a skill that I spend t TP on. I feel like that's actually good for my situation. I'm going to do that. Uh, word the classes that I'm repping right now, um, L Luchador, um, Alchemist, Medic, Troubadour, Survivalist. I need to fight more. If I don't fight, I don't gain any money or anything. All right, we're officially progressing. Ooh. 
luchador is a class in this game. Um, I call it luchador because I don't remember the German name. <laughs> save my shit just in case something bad happens. Lange, lands next. Yeah, yeah, that one. Land. Luchador. Can I just call it Luchador? Please. Like, I like Luchador. <laughs> you know, it's simple. Oof. That poison does make me fear for my life. I guess I do have a lot of cure, and I also have cure on two people now, so I'll try to stay off the medic guz as best as I can. All right, progressing, progressing. There's a door here. We got a door to our right. Look at this beautiful, be oh god, I fucked up. Look at this beautiful art. So there's a door also up here. Okay, so do we want to go down or do we want to go up? I think I want to go up. <clears throat> Luchador is an interesting class name. I mean, I'm sure that it's canon. Oh, the poison. God damn it. Bitch. Rude. This would actually be a really good run too if I didn't like if I didn't auto attack and kill my survivalist. We're doing really good. All right, onward and forward. I need to run away more. I want to actually progress. Oh come on. <laughs> Wait, boost? Oh, shit. I have boost. Uh, I need to experiment with that. Twenty HP? Your heal is pathetic. Wow. All right, so boost, let's vastly, okay, power vastly increased. How much are we talking? I'm gonna see if I can one shot. I just did 28 damage, wait, 78, oh no. I did 28 damage with a boost, what? Bro?
<laughs> Happy Friday, Aramaso! Hello, hello. Oh god, this thing's defense is insane, that's why. I hope I'm getting a good enough loot here. I'm just praying to whatever god exists that I can come across a shortcut at some point in time. in Etrian Odyssey getting jump scared by people just appearing in front of you at a, like, a completely uncalled for? As you venture forth among the trees, the adventurer called Ren appears once more. Smiling as if to congratulate you on your steady progress, the warrior, warrior woman greets you. It seems there are no wolves in this floor yet. I'll give you some advice. Before you go back on your way through the forest, the trees are not always as impassable as they look. Finding the hidden paths will allow you to move about more efficiently. There's a hidden path around here. What? You glance about, searching idly for the narrow hidden path she spoke of. You're blindsided. Oh, you piece of shit. That seems silly. God, I'm dying. Around here, there is a hidden passage. I think that you're a liar. I feel like I'm barely on the edge of my seat right now. Inspect. As you walk through the forest, a wall of trees blocks your progress. There seems to be a minute crack that could be passable if you kneel. So I have like a shortcut, my first shortcut. I wonder if they were other in other places and I now should go back and like look. That's awesome. Okay, getting a shortcut was pretty fucking pog. Not gonna lie. I'm trying to be a math god, man. It's so hard to be a math god. This is the hardest job in the entire world. Don't let anybody convince you otherwise. rough this work is? Like, they're making me do fucking work here. I don't get paid enough, man. Now I'm paranoid about, like, shortcuts and stuff.
A treasure chest. <gasps> Why didn't an FOE just appear behind me? Five hundred. That's great. Please don't do that. Words. Okay, this is like the old deer though, so I think we can handle it. Also, uh, thank you to whoever anonymously gifted a sub to Jump Scare. Appreciate it. We have like not a lot to go on here. I think I can easily defeat this guy. Uh, I'm just running out of juice, so it's really bad. Like, I need to go back after this for sure. Why do the FOEs gotta suck so bad? Okay. He keeps on trying to do something to me and it's not working. So I think we're getting lucky right now. <gasps> he actually attacked somebody different. God, we did it. Oh. oh my God. Why is this so terrible? Bro, I'm just trying to live my life. I'm taking the shortcut since now we know shortcuts exist. Bro, I need to leave. We're lugging around a dead body. We've been lugging around a dead body for a long time. I'm just hoping that like one of these. I need to attack enemies because that's oh my god please run bro you're going to die fucking hell I don't see inspect coming up at all oh come on did a great job porting the map section. That's good. I am just really looking for shortcuts at this point, now that I know that they exist. 
For some reason, I'm thinking that they don't in the first, like, two floors, though. I can auto-battle, right? I really need to. Okay. You wanted to try these after playing Persona Q, but don't know which one to get. Well, this collection that just came out includes Entry and Odyssey 1, 2, and 3, so it kind of helps you in the deciding factor. You get three greens for the price of one. The approaching night. Uh, yeah, we don't know what night really means yet. I was hoping that was a shortcut. Please flee. I'm begging you. I need to make it back alive. If I don't, everything I fought for in life ever will be meaningless, worthless. Uh, you played this game on the 3DS. I remember the shortcuts having a visual indicator, but the first one that the game shows you didn't. Yeah, I'm hoping that's the case. Moving forward, that would be nice. But we'll see. I'm not counting on it. Okay, we got a level up. That's definitely appreciated. Okay. Custom. All right. The survivalist is just dead to me. Old school dungeon crawler experience. Yeah! There's such a charm with these... with these games, though. Career 2 is great and all, but 10 TP, though? Salve. Salve is nice, but Patch is also nice. The Medic needs so many things. All right, my Troubadour now has the ability oh oh wait i can't do healing i thought i could wait i need level five and hp up am i reading that right i need level five and hp up in order to get healing i have level seven up above chat am i reading this correctly so like i have uh level seven songs but in order to get healing, I think I also need level five and HP up. Oh, it, oh, oh, <gasps> thank you. You can learn this skill and all prerequisites if you have six points. Okay, thank you. Wow. I mean, HP is never a bad thing, so it's fine. <gasps> I didn't know I could just click on it. That's so exciting. Okay, uh, are we sticking with fire? I kind of want to increase my firepower, but um, I've been trying to work toward TP regen. Warp is also nice. Although, last visited geomagnetic field, excuse me? What kind of wizardry? Thank you. Oh my god, I am not correct about everything always. I swear to god, if you kiss my ass again, you're fired. <laughs> god. <laughs> I know you're kidding, but like, god, that really reminds me of like how much I genuinely hate when someone 
really just tries to kiss ass, especially my ass. It never works. It just makes me mad and I am severely judging you. And I can even, I can even read that from people in chat sometimes or just kissing ass. And I'm like, oh, no, 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 sweetie. Kissing ass doesn't get you anywhere around here. Mm-mm. Ain't no way, man. Selling all my shit only gives me like 200. Jesus, how am I supposed to live like this? I'm living like a broke ass bitch right now. She's immune to flattery. I mean, mm, there's a difference between flattery and kissing ass. Flattery can be okay. Can be. Very rarely, though. <laughs> Broke ass bitches! Oh my god, wait, that works so well! <laughs> That's why I named our team, our guild, the bitches. So that people can call us the broke ass bitches. Oh, it just works out so well. Thanks, I hate it. Damn, this game is savage though. I love and hate it. I love it because I I'm a masochist, so psh, clearly. But at the same time, like hold, it's so nerve wracking to like go deep into the labyrinth, knowing that you have to go all the way back up. It's nerve wracking. <clears throat> yeah, thank you. That's that's a good way of putting it. So when you can be sweet and flatter someone, but yeah, there's a difference between that and pandering so that you get advantages. Yeah, because like being uh, like flattery can can be genuine, but kissing someone's ass is almost never genuine. And I hate that shit. I hate that fake ass shit. Quick travel. That's a lot of copium you're huffing right there. I'm, I don't have my hopes up for this quick travel you speak of. So my uh, survivalist is a little behind. Well, that's what I'm saying. I find flattery almost always fake as hell. Oh, not fl not flattery. Sorry, pandering, kissing ass. That's what I mean. Not flattery. <laughs> they were unconscious for a few days. Survival of the fillet fittest, and for a person that's named the survivalist, they sure don't do a good job of that. I mean, mm, okay, yes and no. Like, I can tell when someone's just trying to kiss my ass to get something as a content creator. Like, I, I feel like I can read that pretty well, but... You, there comes to be a point where it's very easy to tell. Like, I feel like if you, if you're a content creator long enough, you start to see the kinds of people that will take advantage and like pander to you. So it's not, it, I feel like it's bad in the beginning, 
But once you get used to it, it's not that bad. Nobody, nobody fled. Nobody wants to flee. My God, you people. How much does salve heal? Oh, it's not bad. Okay. More than I thought. Oh, a lot of people kiss ass for content creators. I mean, the same thing can be said about, like, I don't know, celebrities, famous people in general. It's like, you know, people will kiss ass to, like, try to be their friends to feel important or validated or any problems mentally that you have, you know? That's a very large portion of people, actually. It's just more common than you think. Or maybe some of you do it, but like on an unconscious level. Like you don't mean to, but you, you kind of do. Wait, I didn't take my shortcut. I need my shortcut. I fucking forgot about my shortcut. How could I forget? Okay. Shortcut acquired. So I have this door to go in, and it's just another innocent little square. Uh, you were checking out mods for this game. Someone added a Nanto portrait. You mean like Nanto's not DLC? I would expect Nanto to be already DLC that you can like purchase. So this and then a door. And another door. What the hell? Why are there so many doors? And another door. Oh, I can... Don't worry about it. Like, I can tell when somebody in the chat is, like, being genuinely nice to me or, like, saying something nice to get a reaction or something. Um, I, I can I can tell. It doesn't happen often in the chat, I'll be honest. Like, it doesn't... It, I'm glad it doesn't happen often here, but I can tell. You get, you get used to it after a while. It's Persona Q, but without the Persona. Yeah, there is no story here. So far. <sighs> All right, we have come across Box. And that is all that's here. It's a box. Good job. I'm glad poison isn't working. It's basically a procedurally generated dungeon crawler. That's a procedurally generated. That's a weird description. Uh, no. Happy that people are playing this game in franchise now. Oh, I'm happy to be playing it, especially how much people talked it up whenever I played um, Persona Q2, or Q and Q2. 
After passing through the door, you reach a clearing. Without warning, an ear-piercing scream sounds out, followed by the growl of a fierce beast. Mere yards away, a giant wolf is preparing to spring onto an unlucky soldier. The wounded soldier seems to be petrified with horror. You take a step forward. The desire to draw your weapon and rescue the soldier wells up within you. Rescue the soldier. We can do it. As you gird yourself for battle, the faint ringing of a bell reaches your ears. Searching for its source, you find the Hexer, Shlaktaga, standing quietly there. Her lips scarcely parting, the girl with the ringing bell murmurs a mysterious chant. All at once, the wolf that had stood, ready to pounce, stops moving, its muscles tensed. At a final word from the girl, blood spews from the wolf's jaws and it collapses. They don't hear or see well, the flame girl, he, girl whispers, but they can smell blood. Fixing her pale-eyed gaze upon you, the girl approaches. You should be careful, it's dangerous to fight wolves with open wounds like this. Like his. Hand outstretched. Chalaktga sprinkles some droplets of shining water on you. This is like the one time... I genuinely don't need this. This is like the stereotypical Etrian Odyssey experience, is it? Like I'm I'm feeling like this is normal. I just get the sense. I'll tend to this soldier. You should go on. The stairs to the fourth floor are not far. As she speaks, Chlactica points you to the back of the room. I'll stay here until you defeat Fenrir. Come back if your wounds become too severe. What? A free heal? Anytime. Anytime? I'm putting a four-leaf clover there. Shit, son. Hold on. To become the map god, you have to be very diligent, you know? All right. I was so close from a healer. They're pushing me away. Like, no, I need to go back. I need uh, to go through this one last door over here. Well, now that I know that I have free healing forever. Healthcare US would never. <sighs> it's sad that you are right. We come across a clearing. And clearly nothing been looking nothing looking sus here. Oh, is it just a mine mining? Amber lump? Well, that seems really good. Crab apple. That's my limit for today. Hmm, okay. Seems really good. So, um that was Takings, that's like the hand symbol, maybe. 
Except it's tis beyond my reach. This one. I'm getting so good, man! My map skill... My map skills. They're unparalleled. You know what I want to do? I want to fight the FOEs in the top left. I have a free heal infinitely here. So why not? Oh god. Yeah, yuck was taken for a bit. I, that was unintentional. I did not mean to. I mean, I don't know when it comes to like the trilogy and how what order to play this, but I don't see a reason to just go like, I you know, just go with a good old one, two, three, you know? I hate that they keep pushing you in this direction. It's really annoying. Actually, uh, I changed my mind. I'm not going to the FOE anymore. I'm just gonna go downstairs. I swear to God, if the survivalist dies. Oh. I don't think she can raise somebody from being dead. Let's see if she can. Oh, thank God. Survivalist doesn't survive? No. I think they're better suited. It says you can put them in the front line, but I I do think that they're better suited for the back. All right, finally, we have made it. Down another floor. Took a while. But we got it now, baby. All right, we on, we on level... Uh, floor basement floor four. Oh god and i'm faced with an foe right at the beginning the distant howling of wolves reaches your ears as you venture deeper into the forest their wild cries echo through the trees you suddenly recall chlaktga's words she warned you that this is a dreadful place where feral wolves dwell you continue forth the threat of approaching wolves uppermost in your mind oh my god look at the map it's full of foes Jesus Christ! Found nothing. What do you mean? Oh, this is a mining spot. Oh. What do you mean I found nothing? That can happen? That's so mean. Oh my god, the FOE! I can take him. I can take him. I can take him. I can take him. He only did 32 damage to me. Oh boy. 
Oh, he dies so easily. He's not that bad. Oh! After you. Holy shit. Okay, I can see where this comes. Uh, this is bad. I didn't realize they were closing in mid battle. Am I safe? Okay, it seems like I'm safe. Okay, I'm safe. Everything's fine. I'm just gonna keep beating up wolves. As I see them. Oh my god. That was legit scary. Seeing them all close in like that? A braval. Oh, what's that? Sounds like equipment. I don't... I don't see anything... Wait, you can have a thing? Wait. Oops! My bad. Oh. The survivalist actually did survive, yeah. Candy made of bitter wugworts. Slightly decreases defense, but increases attack. Yeah, no. No thanks. Okay, I say we fight this wolf here, right? I say we fight it. I'm trying to like seclude it, okay. Oh my god. Bro, you almost fucking died? Good thing you defended. How far away are the other wolves? Okay, I, I it seems like I have a lot of time. <gasps> Survivalist, why? Begging you, Miss Survivalist. Please, just like live. Oh, there's another wolf. Murder it! These wolves are kind of fun to beat up, not gonna lie. It's kind of fun. Are we lost yet? Ryder! You think I would ever get lost?
Ooh, they went after Nurge. Bold move. I get a lot of experience for killing the wolves. I feel like I should do that. They're not that bad, and they die easy. How can she get lost? She has a map. I am the map god. Uh-oh, it's turning into nighttime, which is a little bit scary. Uh-oh, I have another wolf on my right that's closing in pretty fast. Uh, so I should try to kill as fast as I can here. I'll, I'll even use a boost. Oh my god. Don't die. Oh, we dodged. Nice. Ooh, okay. So the other wolves are closing in. This suddenly becomes a lot nicer whenever you have a healer in the middle of your fucking labyrinth. Now I feel like I never need to go home. Just don't get one shot by anything, basically. Oh god, where am I going? I feel like I shouldn't be going back here. I am running out of uh, TP though, so I might need to go back just for some TP. damage. Okay, survivalist is dead. What a shocker. I, uh, I was really surprised about the survivalist dying, let me tell ya. Truly, uh, I... I'm very surprised. Never go home and never save. Never go home, never save. Yeah, this is where it gets terrifying because like one false move and you will die. Like, like, I could get party wiped and then you lose like an hour of progress. That very well could happen. There's only like two more wolves to beat up here. Flowers? Why are there flowers in this direction? The enemy spawn rate is a lot lower here, probably because of all the wolves. Oh god, you're a red! F what is? What does it mean that you're red? Just don't kill my survivalist. Three damage. You what? Seven? Four? Okay, basically, I'm only doing damage via poison.
Yep, poison for the win. Holy shit, that sucked. Grab, please. I forgot we had that emote. Okay, I see... Okay, so we have door. And then the path goes this way as well. But I think I want to circle back down here. I like the flowery walkways. Very pretty. How many more times does the, does the survivalist die? <laughs> From now until the end of the stream, you mean? What if I decide to stream for like five more hours today? Pole? What the fuck is this pole? Infinite? Why is infinite a... The actual fuck? I have no words. Oh my god, the survivalist. They're really trying to kill the survivalist, though. They know that the survivalist is the weak one. I'm glad that the game is picking up at this point. It's kind of exhausting to go forward and back all the time. But now it's picking up. Hello, wolf. You're the last one alive in your pack. That's a lot of Banui. You know what that means? We're gonna have a dead survivalist very soon. Open the box. A plate. <gasps> oh my god. I'm fucking hitting the jackpot right now. Hmm. I feel like I could go to the survivalist. Oh wait, no, you can't even wear it. Oh my god. You poor creature. I do it does feel like I got through the hard part of the um of the game though. It does feel like that in a way. Everything else is gonna be easy peasy from now on. Right? Uh eh. Survivalist sounds like a sounds like a false advertisement. Because it is. Ah. 
guess who's about to die? Eh, never mind. Oh, <gasps> even a level up? Holy shit. Damn. The game is basically over soon. Yeah, I think that the game is basically over soon. Um, now that I feel like I'm, I've got it, I'm, I'm running and I cannot be stopped. The game is now too easy. Yeah, we're fine. Wait, I have two, wait, I have two skill points? What am I doing? 